chilling for a few minutes until people start to file on in. You gotta give like, it's the funny thing that you never know about Twitch, is I've got like the graphs and everything. On average, on average, it takes two hours for you to reach your full audience. How crazy is that, right? It takes two hours to reach whatever your average views is. At least that's what it is for maybe I don't inspire people to sprint like other people do. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But either way, you gotta be live for two hours before you reach your peak potential. So those of you out there that are thinking about becoming streamers, there's a little there's a little tidbit for you. Little analytical tidbit for you. Little analytical tidbit to throw out there. Yeah, I did get a haircut. I did, I did. I don't know. I always find like when you're feeling like down and you're feeling kind of just like in the dumps or whatever, gotta change something up. I don't know. Buy some new clothes or something. Change your hairstyle up. Do something like that. It usually seems to fix it up. Maybe I'm just superficial though. That might be what it is too. You're like, well, you know. <laughs> you do what works, man. You do what works. You do what works. Ooh, Yadian. Thank you very much for that subscription, pal. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. It is. It's a mohawk. Yeah, thank you, Yerna. I, just, I don't know. I felt like I had things that I had to get off my chest, you know what I mean? Felt like I, every now and again, you can't bottle for too long. And so anyways, yeah, I added in, I don't know. The subscription thing was getting my throat. It just felt like I felt raspy all the time. Like, and I thought it'd be, I thought it would get better, but it didn't. It didn't. I was like, my voice will grow stronger, like bicep muscles. And that's not how, that's not how it works. Yeah, I don't like it when it just cuts off like at the back like you're a like you're like a 1910 coal shoveler. You look like somebody from Peaky Blinders. I like I'm a, I'm a fan of the classic Mohawk. I was a punk rocker. I was a punk rocker. Ooh, Broken Troll. That's my favorite part is when the bass goes bum 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 bum. I like it when a bass walks and does its own thing while the lead holds a note. That shit's dope. I always like that stuff. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, that's true. Ozzy did a lot of drugs, though. And I think Ozzy plays it up because it was good for business. Like, he, when he was on the Osbournes, at that same time, I saw interviews with him where he was, like, perfectly coherent. But then on the show, he'd be walking around with, like, T-Rex arms. be like, Zaren! I, I think he played it up a little bit, too, because it made money. You know what I mean? Like, you got to put on a show. Like, he's definitely a little burned out. But he's not as burned out as he was on the Osbournes. I always got the feeling he was playing it up a little bit. Hey, glad you can make it, Yadian. Glad to have you here. I am Ostato. I haven't I haven't been in a mu I gotta make I gotta be like in a good, like motivated mood to do music. That's just me personally. Like I can't make like some people make their best music when like they're miserable. And some people only make good music when like they're at the top of their game. I am the latter. When I'm like in a bad mood, I just I can't move notes around on a MIDI and shit all day. I'm just like, I don't care about this. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're going to be playing some Total War 2 today. Uh, we're going to be playing a new I campaign. Uh, we are not going to be playing stupid-ass elves. Nobody likes sense. elves. We're not going to be playing lizard men because they're scaly and they smell like a turtle tank. We're not going to be playing dark elves because those are just elves for goth kids. We're going to be playing the only acceptable army in this entire game, and that is the Skaven. We can be Lord Skulk, who apparently has a giant book on his back and an awesome flail made out of fire. Since we went ahead and we did Queek Headtaker, I think we'll do Lord Skrulk on this one. And so I think this is gonna be pretty this is gonna be pretty cool. What does he get as his bonus? So he gets Plague Sensor Bearers. Okay, they look alright. I don't know if they're like shock troops or what they're supposed to be. He's got a Plague Claw catapult. Catapults are pretty good in Total War. I like catapults. They tend to help out. They're not as good as trebuchets, but they're pretty good as cat and they're almost as good as catapults. Um, hey, what's up, Drummond? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, we've got Plague Monks over here. Oh, thank you for those biddies, Brendan. I appreciate that, man. Me too, man. It's been like a year of this shit, and it just won't seem to go. 
So what did these guys do by comparison? So he's got he's anti-infantry damage dealers with frenzy. So they're plague sensors. I'm assuming they make the other guy sick then. What does my leader get? So let's take a look at some of the bonuses we get for playing this guy. So we've already got that. The Skaven Underworld is actually pretty cool. I haven't got a, pl a chance to play around with it very much. But during sieges and stuff like that, uh, you can call Skaven units in through the ground inside of people's defenses and stuff. It's actually a pretty cool ability. Uh, Irish Dragon, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Now, for things are things are moving. They're all right. Uh, hey, what's up, Hugbringer? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> Woo! Welcome to the stream. I got like a sesame seed stuck in my throat or something. I just had a salad. Construction costs, so Pox Cauldron. Ooh! Thank you very much for that subscription, Rollo or Bumble. Thank you very much. Uh, construction costs, minus 50 for a Pox Cauldron, Pestilent, Nave, and Plague Bailey buildings. Right costs are minus 75. I don't know what any of that means. Looks like our upkeep is lower for Plague Monks, Plague Monk Sensor Bears, Plague Claw Catapults, and Plague Priest units. Okay. And so the big difference that you've got here is that his, like, weird frenzy support units are half off, whereas this guy gets shock troopers for half off. Sounds good to me. Thank you for those biddies, Rakowski. I appreciate that, man. Very kind of you. Uh, let's get moving. Deep under the world, they chitter and plan. Chitter, 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 chitter. Waiting. 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 Letting my voice go raw. From the great dark. When him it is a nightmare. I'm helping out with the sound effects. The Skaven, a ravenous horde of verminous rat men. Hey, what's up, Lone Star? How you doing? Norman, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. They gnaw at the roots of the world like an infected wound. They mean to rule over ruins. For such is the will of See, he's God. not he's not rolling his R's. He's not doing the British guy thing right. They rule. If you roll your R's, you Only sound like 400% fancier. The high they rule from the darkness below. Ruling and, and running is the ravaging. Vortex. Hey, what's up, douchebag? How you going? How you going, man? A swirling maelstrom that siphons chaos from the world. The Skaven covered its vast power with envious, beady red eyes. The twin-tailed comet is oft seen as an omen, but this time its wake has disturbed the winds of magic. In the secret halls of the Under Empire, the Council of... What's up, Mercarium? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Dude, I need a badass table like that in my house where I can sit with all of my friends and we can hold a green fire. Just be like, the plan is moving forward. Twin Claw, thank you very much for those biddies. I appreciate that, man. There used to be 40k uh, Skaven, but they scrapped them. They got, uh... They got, uh... Fuck, what was the name of the dwarves? Um, there was dwarves in 40k in the first edition, too. And ever since they got rid of the dwarves in 40k, that's become the default word for when they wipe a when they wipe a faction off the map. Squats. There you go. 40k Skaven got squatted. Hey, what's up, Abricot? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Good old squats. Then you know we must seek find the screaming one. Find out how to control the vortex. Oh, oh yes, master. But, but a large tribute of warp stone will that demon require if if we summon him. <laughs> hey, thanks, Ben Jaffe. I appreciate those thoughts, man. Harvest warp stone. Yes. Hey, what's up, Rohan? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Dude, I need one of those in my front yard. Nobody would fuck with you if you had that in your front yard. You could stand on it holding a staff all day. This be like, I look out upon you, East Bay, and I say a pox! Just like Soothsaying from the top of it. Dude, the load times in this game are fucking brutal. I'm not even lying to you, dude. The load times in this game are absolutely abysmal. Like, they take forever. Like, the first campaign load takes a fucking minute. And then after that, oh, it actually did it fast that time. That's weird. Maybe they patched. Of decay, for Skrulk speaks. 
By will, will of council, we set poor in Lustria to visit ruin upon the reptile tree. Oh, we're fighting the lizard man. We're not fighting yes. elves. Okay. Twin tailed comet brings great opportunity for, for pestilence. It actually looks like we're fighting great with the uh looks like we're fighting with the lizard man. Which will be kind of interesting. I've never fought the lizard man before, so this should be kind of interesting. We should we should be able to find out. Yeah, I can see him, Sakura. Kill Sotex creatures and find steal their treasures. I'm gonna find steal the fuck out of those treasures. You better believe it. Hey, U of R Jeff, thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm just kind of going with it, man. Just trying to hang in there. You know what I mean? I feel like life kind of got me on the ropes right now. And so, like, trying to stay positive, trying to stay positive and not give in to just being like a fucking salty bastard all the time, but it's tough, you know? Alright, so Skaven settlements are not ordinarily visible. They have to appear, they look as ruins. Humans, oh, they can scout them to see if they're actually abandoned. And so we've got food stockpiles over here. Food stockpiles are how we make sure that, like, we have growth in our cities and everything like that. We get that by murdering people. Hey, Brahmin! Thank you very much for those, uh, oh, that was a tip. Tip my hat to you, sir. What are they up to? Hmm? Attack soon! Claim this place for clan pestilence. It looks like they have weed there. Oh, it's pastures. Okay. I was gonna say, lizard men living that life right now. Lizard men are living that life. Hey, I'm Zealous. Thank you very much for that subscription, man. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. Thank you, sir. Um, I think I'm gonna run on off in here. And so we've got Oixel. Okay. What's going on in Oixel? Oixel, what you doing right now? Oixel looks like, oh my god! Thank you for that subscription, the Black Viper. Um, so we've got a couple of things we can do inside of here. We can do a corrupted spawning pool, which I think... So is this actually the capital? Oh my god! PHX Rocker, letting that roll over, man. Thank you very dude, to Antonio. An average campaign in Total War takes a while, man. It takes like a minute. You gotta be... It, it's a lot, man. It's a lot. Trying to figure out what's going on with the frame rate right now. Frame rate seems a little sketchy. I got it set to 60 frames, and it's 60 frames in game right now, but OBS is reporting 35. I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm. Let me try something different real fast. Let me see if something else looks a little bit better. There we go. That looks better. That looks a little bit better. Just had to change things up ever so slightly change things around and make it look good like I knew it would gonna kill those elves cuz I knew I could all right so it wants me to go after this territory over here uh, Sabaton the place of Sabaton Astato thank you very much man I appreciate that tip I will do my best to keep up the great work thank you for the thoughts so I'm thinking if we want to hit this place we probably want to come up with a better army I'm gonna move him to the edge of our territory but um, but um, but um, but um. What kind of recruitment can I get done right now? I can get some clan rat spears. I can get some scaven slaves. I can get some clan rats. I'm thinking it's probably a good idea. It looks like we have plague monks and we have a lot of slingers. Let's go with somebody that can hold the front line for a little bit. Uh, we need a couple dudes that we can line up out front and just be like, hey, die until I don't need you to die anymore, so that we can flank the enemy. That's what we need right now. We need sacrificial lambs, and until we get those. I'm just, I can't be happy. Over here, we can get a clan barracks. So we've got a clan pit right there. As far as this goes, we actually started with a level 2 lair, so that's pretty good. I'll probably go up to, what do we have going on here? So our public order is good. It's looking all right. Our cash flow is looking all right. What does corruption do for us? It affects our public order. The lower level of corruption, the higher the public order will be. Scaven corruption spreads over time. Redu oh, so we don't want corruption. Okay. Although I feel like Skaven want corruption. What is this over here? So we've got a couple of options. We got Rattling Warrens. Uh, if you guys have any ideas, I'm not very good at this game, so by all means, feel free to. Uh, hey, thank you very much, uh, Cat and Box. Thank you very much, man. I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, so if you have any suggestions for what a good play would be, by all means, throw that out there. It won't be back seating today. Um, I'm not super good at Total War, so it's one of those things that I play. But the only one I was ever actually good at was uh, I was good at. Um, Ooh, thank you for that subscription, Foul Necromancer. Da, na, 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 na. Bum, 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 bum. Anyways, um, the only one that I was ever good at was uh, Shogun Total War. But that's because Shogun Total War was kind of a wash when it came to... Uh, I think we're going to need something to keep our corruption down. And I don't know exactly how to get that. 
Let's see here. So that gives us untainted plus one. Gives us, we get exotic animals start our resource production. An exotic animal trainer. Do we get any units out of that later on? How can I work my way towards, I want to get, I need, so we've, oh, we've got shields. I'm going to work on that. Having shield soldiers is probably good. I don't want to get butchered by uh, ranged units, which is looking like what we're probably going to have going on for right now. So we're going to give them a turn. I'm going to see what's going on here. Let the game play for just a minute and see what the enemy decides to do. I'm not sure what Untainted does. I gotta figure out what it does, but I think I gotta dig through, like, the tutorial or something. Like, that's the thing about Total War when you put it in the Warhammer universe. It's got a bunch of weird modifiers that you're not used to that don't exist in, like, Rome Total War or anything like that. And so, like, Untainted plus one. Let me, let me see what's going on here. And so I think what I can do is if I go to here. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Close that down. Go to here. And then let's say that I take Untainted right there. And I click on this. What does Untainted do for me? No, don't build it right now. I'm too broke for that. I can't afford that shit for nothing. So it gives you Untainted. Enables attrition for undead armies. Oh, it makes it so when undead armies come in here. So if we go up against vampires or whatever, uh, they'll start losing units just by being in our territory because it's like wholly consecrated or whatever. Let's go see what's going on with Sabaton. And we'll scout this location real fast and see what's going on with it. City has been reached. Not a whole no lot. So they've got Sauruses and they've got Skinks. Study skinks are fucking terrible, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. And Sauruses look pretty easy, too. Uh, I can break the siege. I can encircle them. Or I can fight a battle. Let's fight a battle. Why not? I mean, normally if I've got that, I'll just auto-resolve it. So fair warning, I tend to auto-resolve battles that have, like, the full meter. Uh, just because it's not worth your time. The AI actually tends to do okay in this game as long as the meter is full. If it's like 75% in Total War games, you might get an upset. But, like, it happens from time to time. Uh, Guild Wars 2, I played a bit when it first came out, but I found that, like, the lack of, like, a real end game kind of killed the game for me back at release. Like, it just felt like there was no point getting any of the gear because it didn't affect anything. Like, there was no healing, there was no tanking, and so it was kind of missing those fundamental things that I like about MMOs. And so I had trouble kind of investing in it. Hey, what's up, Hunter Delta? How you doing? Clan rats! Kill the elf thing! Stab, stab, die, die! Kill, kill! I love Skaven, dude. Skaven are so awesome. You should read Gotrek and Felix, and once you get to, like, the second book, like, half of the book is just Skaven shenanigans written from the Skaven's perspective. It's pretty fucking hilarious. Although, by, like, book three or four, it's too much Skaven, and I'm like, alright, it's time for this storyline to be resolved. Alright, let's have a look here and see what's going on. So, that's a pretty good army right there. That's a pretty good fucking army right there. I can gamble? What the fuck does that mean? What does gambling mean? Oh yeah, the winds of magic. I forgot about that. You can wait and see if the winds of magic get stronger. I forgot about that shit. Yeah, that affects how often you can spell cast or something like that. I forgot about that mechanic from the last Warhammer. So you can gamble on the winds of magic changing if you want to wait, but I think your enemy gets to redeploy or something like that if you do it. Uh, we got people in trees. Let's just start our deployment here. I am going to rearrange this entirely. I don't like having my skirmishers out front. I like having them kind of off to a flank and in the side. So let's find our spearmen here. I'm going to put my spearmen out front. We don't have any shields, so siege battles are probably not going to be our forte. I'm going to put some swordsmen along each flank. And then we'll put support swordsmen kind of in reserve right here. And then we want our skirmishers to kind of be back over on this side. Hey, Daggett, thank you very much for those uh, for that subscription, man. I appreciate that. Let me get these guys lined up properly, though. So there we go. We've got all of our archers and whatnot that are kind of doing their thing, although they're kind of smushed. Let's go ahead and move them back to right there. We've got our catapults. We're going to put those back in reserve, like kind of over here-ish, I guess. And then I'll scooch them over ever so slightly. I've got sensor bearers. As far as I understand it, these guys are like shock troops, so we're going to have them like right in the front. It seemed like they had better stats than everybody else. And so that looks good to me. I'm pretty happy with that deployment. And so let's have a look at what we got going on here. Oh, we're actually fighting like an open battle. Okay. Uh, go ahead and open up with the catapults on them, please. Whatever you can accomplish. Let's see what kind of damage we can get done here. There it is. Wipe those dudes out. Knock them on down. Get them taken care of. Uh, there's not a whole lot of cover. I might suggest perhaps 
that we relocate an army over here just for like a flanking maneuver. So go ahead and get them moving over there into those trees and see if maybe we can do something clever on this side that the AI won't notice. I bet they'll notice, but it's like, uh, I bet they'll notice. We've also got our leader over here. And so I'm going to put him back in the main vanguard over on this side. He doesn't have any special abilities that he's able to run just yet. But uh, you guys should be firing at will, I think. Yes. Good. Fire at will and they are in skirmish mode too in case the line breaks. Good. So what they're going to try and do is they're going to try and encircle on this side. What we're going to do though is we're going to do a full flank charge to stop that from happening. And then we're going to rush the center pillar right there. We'll keep everybody in reserve. We've got a flank over here. They're going to rush that side. This flank is going to come over here, turn, and then rush them from behind. Attack your flank, commander. Drive them off. What? We're not attacking flanks for shit. What are you talking about? I'll keep these guys in reserve for right now because we don't need them to join the fray. Go ahead and have you guys attack from right there. Wow, they're already routed. Not bad. Not bad. His army will surely follow. Okay, Don. Okay. Yeah, that's because we had him beat, man. That's because we had him destroyed. We had him took. We had him shook. Take a look. We got him shook. Fucking lizard man. Fucking lizard man. Inferior to rat man. Not as awesome. Dude, why are, Stop that! Stop shooting into my people. Stop that. Stop firing at Will. Will has done nothing to you. I mean, we can end the battle right now. I don't really think there's a point to chase him on out of here, but... Warp Stone! Time for cocaine! So rats, they snort cocaine, essentially, and it gives them warp powers. Like, the more warp stone you have, the more mutations you accumulate, and the more awesome you become in Ratman society. And so, that's true. Friendly fire is something they find to be conducive. Like, if you kill off the other guys, if you kill off your own team, there's less people to your superior authority. A warp stone token. So, Winds of Magic goes up by 6, but we have a chance to miscast. Okay, that's a little sketchy. I'm a little, I'm a little worried about that, but we've got a decisive victory right here. We can decide what we want to do. And so we can occupy the settlement at level one, two, three. What does that do? Oh, it costs us food. So at the base cost of food, we can raise the, oh, that's kind of an interesting concept then. That's kind of cool. And then other things we can do up in here. Um, we can loot and occupy, which means that, or we can sack it. What is that right there? Province instability. Okay. Or we can raise it to the ground. I see. Well, hey, what's up, Swedish Twig? How you doing? Welcome back to the stream. I don't know if I want to deal with all of this over here, so I'm thinking that sacking it might be the better option. We'll have a conquest penalty, although that gives us this place. Let's loot and occupy. There it is. So things are going to be a little rough over here. People are going to be... People are going to be a little bit upset over here. Our public order is going to be a little bit trashy. But, we got an arcane item. Okay. Lord Skulk is now using that. We've completed our quest, which gives us a thousand bucks. And eight warp stone. A thousand boobos upon you, pestilent lord. Seems the reptile things are basking in jumble temples that should belong to pestilence. While we make ready with the first ritual, I humbly suggest you attack. Yes, yes? Alright. <laughs> reptile prisoners. Say the lizards retake old jungles. On the lookout for ancient artifacts. Yes, yes. Plan a ritual they do, same as Skaven. <laughs> so takes things must not succeed. A plague be upon them. So they want me to capture an entire province. We need to figure out. So this is the province capital. We need Sentinel of Time in order to finish this off. And Sentinel of Time is down there to the south. And so if we finish off the whole thing, I think we get like a public order bonus or like a tax bonus or something like that. So if you have the first game and the second game, they're going to combine them later on with a patch so that you get everything. But for right now, you can only play you can only play Skaven, High Elves, and Lizardmen, and Dark Elves. Not super attractive for somebody like me who likes Dwarves and Orcs and Skaven. But at least I've got Skaven to tide me over until that happens. Alright, so taking a look here. What can I do in... So over on, in Sabaton. 
We've got one turn until that's built. I would suggest we do something with public order over here. We don't really want to... So these places over here... Like, that's Oxel, sorry. We don't want to build anything, as you guys were saying in chat. You don't really want to build anything inside these little areas, because these can only go up to, like... This right here can only go up to level 3, so you don't want to waste buildings that go higher than level 3 here. So, for example, something like a... A putrid rice bog would be a smart idea. Or... A defense would be a smart idea over here, although I think that just gives us a garrison and we can't do it until we get to the next level. I need something that handles public order for me. So chances are, let me take that mission right there. So we get recruitment, untainted, growth, uh, Skaven corruption goes up. We don't look like we have anything that really helps with public order, but then again, we are Skaven after all. Like, Skaven don't really do super great with public order. I'll probably go with the second upgrade right here so that we can move along. And so that might work out for us. I think that'd probably be a good idea. I feel like my notifications are in like a really shitty spot. Let me like, it, it kind of sucks because no matter where I put them, they're going to be like in a weird spot for the course. Like this game has a really busy UI. And so regardless of what I do, it's going to be in a weird spot at some point in the gameplay. I tried my best to arrange it before we started, but Life is complicated and difficult. Life is complicated and difficult. That's a new Splattercat song I'm working on. Life is complicated and difficult. Uh, 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 uh. All right. So for what the fuck is that? Lothurn, you are currently progressing towards the ritual of prophecy. Do we like win when we do this? Huh, I wonder if that's our victory condition. We've just got to get enough warp stone to make us like super awesome. Zelga Bunny, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Curious, I'm, I'm all right. Today's a little bit rough. You know, my, my tummy's a little achy because I, I think I ate something last night. I either had dubious chili or I had dubious pizza, and my stomach is not dealing with it well. Yeah, I've listened to Sabaton. So our next our next goal is really just to go down here and fucks with these people down here. What is that? Why do they have a volcano in the middle of their territory? The winds of magic are blowing. Blowing who is the question? What do they have, like, garrisoned here? What do they have? They have skink skirmishers that look like they have blow darts. Okay. We probably want to keep recruiting then. Although, if I have an army here, right? If I have an army, I think it auto-built a barracks over here. Like, I think in Oxel, we already got a barracks by default. So if I kill that off, I guess I'll demolish it. And then a landmark. Okay. I guess I'll put a landmark in the capital. You guys are saying that's a smart idea, so let's do that. Our public order is fucked right now. I don't think it really matters where I leave. I don't think it really matters where I leave this army. I think our, pu I think our public order is going to be fucky regardless of what we do. But I will continue making this army larger. Bigger and bigger. In Sabaton? Can I get a barracks over here? too strong. Yeah, I'm going to put a barracks over here so we can start recruiting again. Our recruitment, if I can't get guys with shields, I think we're going to have, like, some issues when we come across heavy ranged armies. I mean, at the end of the day, I can just fold some of these guys into other armies, but let's get some swords in there, too. I'm just going to keep making this a little bit bigger, and then we don't have access to slingers just yet, so why worry about it? Resolve or skip notification to end your turn. What notification? I don't see a notification anywhere. Oh, he leveled up. That's what happened. So we can get Pestilent Breath. We can get Tail Weapon, which makes him just, like, unanimously stronger. I'm going to go with Inspiring Presence. That's not actually a terrible thing to take. But, like, why not go with Pestilent Breath so that we can be, like, burp and, like, burp all over people. You know what I mean? It looks like it gives people... It's got a 50% chance to miscast. Holy fuck, dude. That's, like, 50-50, man. That's flicking, a, that's, that's flipping a coin, bro. But then again, we are the forces of chaos, so I suppose that's part of chaos. Uh, Root Marcher is pretty good, too. Let's you march further on a turn, and then you get Looter, which makes you get more income and stuff like that. Um, I'll probably do that on a secondary character. Oh, only on Overcast. So it looks like it gives people poison, which looks pretty good, actually. It looks like it nerfs them pretty hard. I'm going to do Pestilent Breath. I want to breathe fire. I want to breathe fire of plague on people. Just like, ah. it's burping on people. It's pretty punk rock, right? I feel like Skaven have earned that sort of thing. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Here, Pestilent Breath. There we go. All done for me, all my legendary lord. 
We also have a, another thing that it wants me to do. Uh, do I want to go up to level two? Yeah, we've got the money for it. Why not? I got the money, honey, if you've got the grime. Yeah, we've got like, uh, we've got Skaven Halitosis now, so we can just be like, Bleh! And just get all up in people's business with our Skaven Halitosis. Those that inhabit this place begin to stir against your room. Um, I mean, that's mostly just from our... How long do we have until this falls off? Because our main problem is provincial instability, and so that should go away. There's a rebellion in 12 turns. I'm pretty sure once conquering a place and the instability goes away, we should be alright. Like, I don't see a reason to concern myself too heavily with that for right now. I'll probably, now that our recruitment thing is built, is it built? Do we have shields yet? How long do we have on that? So there it is. We can't do level 2 until that's done in two turns. But you know, we're moving along. Oh, we've got ourselves a corrupted spawning pool. Which allows us to get a garrison of Plague Monk sensor dudes. So that's pretty cool. Censorship helps in this case. Um, over here, I'd probably say just build a fucking garrison or something. So we've already got the landmark. You can take that all the way up to the top. Hey, Forrest, thank you very much for letting that roll over, man. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. If we take that all the way to the top, we get a warp stone reactor, which makes us, like, rich as fuck. And uh, we get up to there, we get really good public order, a Temple of the Horned Rat. That seems like it might be a smart idea because our public order is a little bit shitty. I don't know, what do y'all think? We can go with, like, a rubbish pit, but that only goes up to level 3, so we probably want to put that somewhere else. This looks like it generates cash for us. And so making money would probably be a good idea, too. This over here only goes up to level 3, so we don't care about that. If we were going to build something over here, we could get Night Runners, and then we could take Night Runners all the way up to the top, and we would get the Den of Secrets, and that would give us Gutter Runners and Death Runners, which are really crazy good. Might be an okay idea. And what is that right there? Advanced Military. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking a Taskmaster is probably a really good idea. Thank you for those bits, Brendan. I appreciate that. Hey, what's up, Mobali? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. I agree with all of you. I think the Taskmaster is probably the smartest idea, given the way our public order is a little bit... It's a little bit shitty. Hey, Jocelyn, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, butt plug, we just started up, and so we basically got Skaven slaves and very basic units. Our units are basic as fuck. They eat, like, lots of pumpkin spice lattes. They wear Ugg boots. You know how it goes. What does a right do? I'm gonna sk I'm gonna click on all of the different things we have because it looks like there's a lot of mechanics we can play around with. So we've got a Doom Engineer. I wonder if that leads to Doom Wheels. I want a Doom Wheel. So you get a unique Warlock Engineer hero who does catastrophic earthquakes in foreign settlements. You can get a Pestilent Scheme Priest who spreads deadly plagues on foreign settlements. Okay. We get the 13th Scheme over here, which gives us diplomatic relations. Our lords have a chance to get loyalty. Hero action chances, pestilence. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff we can do right there. Uh, what do we have? Diplomacy. I I don't think Skaven are gonna use that much. As far as corruption goes, it does look like we are corrupting the area quite nicely. I mean, it's a little bit low, but I like the blue color though. It makes me happy. That's what I'm heading for right now. I think we're heading down to complete the province right now. He's busy getting more troops. And filling himself out so that he's got a little bit more strength. And then what we'll do is we'll fire the shitty units and we'll hire better ones once we get further in. Although he did come with a pretty generous allocation of shock troops, so I'm not that upset about it. I'd like to save room for slingers, though. Like, when are we going to have slingers? How long do we have till slingers get here? A while. We've got at least, like, four turns. So I think I'll probably just make do with mass numbers and chaos for right now. So we've got spear guys, we've got sword guys... Let's keep splitting things evenly and just keep making that army bigger until we've got our own big wave. Uh, Anonymous, we've been up for like uh, about 30 minutes right now. About 30 minutes right now. Apparently Skeggy is involved in all of this. Hey, thank you for those biddies, Cat and Box. I appreciate that, man. Uh, see you later. Thanks for coming, or madam. Their motives are often hard to fathom, but the ferocity of their warriors and the sharpness of their claws are in little doubt. 
Okay, so apparently they're like the magic arm is what it's saying from over there. Let's go ahead and head off, and we are going to fuck with these guys. I'm going to stay inside my own territory just in case I get attrition when I go over here. Ah, fuck it. We'll just go in. Hey, what's going on, Ty? How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Ah, oh, well, thank you for your support, man. I appreciate that. It's very kind of you. The population of your province grows, my lord. Cool. Over time, this growth will... So it wants me to get... Hey, Rock Guy, thanks for letting that roll over, man. Three months until that gold symbol. You're absolutely correct. So we want to ensure that one following building, we need a nest layer. And we'll get six warp stone and a thousand treasury. I think we're already building a nest layer somewhere, aren't we? Or is the nest layer the next one up? Nest layer is the next one up, and we need two population surplus for that to work out for us. On this side, though, we are capable of making clan rat spears and shields. And so I'm going to do that, because that seems like a good thing to have. Over on this side, it looks like if we go to level three, we can get a garrison here to protect that place. Uh, alternative options are... We can get food generation and growth from a putrid bog. I'm going to go with the putrid bog because we can take that up to maximum level. And it gives us a little bit of extra cash to play around with. And that sounds good to me. Uh, let's hit this place. Let's hit it and let's hit it hard. Frenzy fight. So we've got a settlement garrison right here and we've got an army. Back, back, Is there an option to maintain the siege? We shall return. If I could wear them down a little bit, I'd rather just maintain the siege because this fight is a little bit too close of a fair matchup for me. I am a Skaven player after all. I'm not a fan of fair matchups. I want it to be like two of their sick guys against like a thousand of my really healthy guys if I can help it. Encircle starts a siege. Okay, so we'll siege them on up. Thank you for that. I appreciate that, man. Uh, so we'll maintain that for right now and we'll hope that they sally out to mess with us. So we can retreat. It looks like they are indeed going to sally out to fight with us. So I suppose we'll fight the uh, we'll fight the battle. We have menace below over here. Menace below costs you food uh, in exchange for the ability to call units of like clan rats in like in random places. And so, sure, I'll bring that up by one. And let's go ahead and fight a battle. Let's do this thing. Bum 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 Clan rats! Clan rats! Clan rats! They do have a lot of skinks. You guys looked at the armies better than I did. Nerdy nerd, thank you very much for those cupcake bitties! Cupcake bitties is the best bitties! Put them in your city cause they never fucking shitty! Got them cupcake bitties! Alright, so the winds of magic are good. I'm gonna start deployment. Um, we've got our fart breath, which I'm pretty excited about using. They've got reinforcements coming from... Oh, fuck, behind us. That's not good. I don't like that at all. I mean, here's hoping we can resolve this battle before they even... I guess we can use a rearguard strategy to make this happen. We can hide them in the forest, possibly. I don't recall that the... Re Damn, they got us surrounded. I don't like that at all. I don't like that for a second. All right, then. Well, let's start making our... Uh, let's start making our our lines here. So I've got you guys right there. Give me... Yeah, I was thinking about corner camping over here so I could hit them both at the same time. Like, off on this side, that might be a good idea. Hey, Grump Grandpa! Thank you very much for those biddies. I appreciate that. I was thinking maybe the same thing. Like, let's say that we go over here. That does give us high ground, too, which honestly sounds pretty sexy. I'm gonna put my Plague Bearers out front. And a nice thick little stack. Let's go ahead and we'll get some spearmen. Right over here. Some spearmen right there. We we'll some final spearmen along the flanks out on the side so we can kind of adapt them to what we ever want them to do. I'll do the same thing on these sides with the swordsmen just to kind of... So that they're there, just in case. And we can kind of rotate this as well to kind of see what the enemy's going to do. Uh, these cats over here. I'm going to put them in reserve. We'll put catapults over here. And we will scoochie mode them over onto this side. Give me some slingies back here. Uh, their range will not be super stellar. So maybe I'll put them out front. And then what we'll do is we'll leave skirmish mode on with them. 
That leaves us with one grouping of spears over there that haven't been deployed yet. I'll probably use them to strengthen this flank since that's where the main bulk of the army is going to come from. And then we've got some spears over there too and I'll keep them on a left flank reserve. And I think that's everybody except for our leader who I will bring back into the main retinue right there and then we will start our battle. Your army marches into battle with great powers, my lord. Be sure to make use of them. Go ahead and rotate that ever so slightly. That does leave a flank open, but what we'll do is we'll put a contingency force right here. And that's why we keep reserve troops, is so that we can sort of reinforce where we need to. They may try to rejoin with the main retinue, and I'm okay with that. Um, it's mostly skinks anyways, so it'll probably be all right. As far as these guys go, we want them to fire at will as soon as the enemy comes inside. Hey, U of R Jeff, thank you very much for those biddies. That biddy bomb dropping, I appreciate that. Let's go ahead and move these guys up along this flank right here. Uh, we will spread as they go that way. Instead, we will expand a flank out on this side, and we will use them to fill the gap right here. We'll kind of see what the enemy decides to do over there. They should start skirmishing very slowly, and they should fall backwards very rapidly as soon as that starts happening. Hey, what's up, Neil? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you, Arthas of Oblivion. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, you guys reinforce this side. And you guys take the vanguard position on that side, please. They should start firing very shortly. What I'd like to see over here is uh, they have skinks coming in. These guys should route pretty quickly, in all honesty. They should route, like, really quickly. Uh, because skinks are basically like a low-tier... They're like a low tier, they're like a low tier slave unit basically. They're not really that helpful for anything useful. Y'all gotta work on that glaucoma you got going on. You guys are not accurate people. So they should skirmish and then fall back through the lines as soon as they start taking a little bit of damage. Uh, you guys charge right there. You guys move up. You guys move up. We're going to advance a flank right there. You guys move up. You also as well move up. On this side. You attack back there. You attack back there. You gentlemen attack right there. Kind of spread these around as the line sees fit. I'd like to have my hero right there just to sort of reinforce. You guys come in from a flank. You guys come in from a flank. You guys go fight with their hero. And you guys reinforce the center line. And that should more or less be it for us. Um, I don't think we have too much to worry about right here. I don't think we have too much. Put some fire on them, please. Put some fire on them. Uh, you guys do the same thing. Put some fire on them. We're scaven after all, so we don't really care if we hit our own units. Uh, it looks like they're routing from that side, so this unit is going to do a cross maneuver uh, straight across the middle of the battlefield right there. They're going to finish off anybody that f runs from right here. There we go. That's what I needed to see. So that's going to help their morale fall off. So if they route, we're going to take these units and we're going to hit the back line right there. And I think that's another victory for Skavendom. I think that's probably another victory for Skavendom. Uh, you go over there and help out with their lord. Uh, you gentlemen, reroute and come back over here. You guys, in case they decide to get their morale back, reform lines and go fight with them. And for you. Yeah, where's Menace Below hiding at? Give me Menace Below over here. There we go. Give me some clan rats over there. That's that good stuff right there. You guys go fight with them. You guys go fight with them. That's not going to be up for another couple seconds. But as soon as their lord goes down, we should be solid over here. Uh, you guys go rush their skirmishers. We've got plenty of units on this side. The fight on this side appears to be actually going kind of shittily. Your 
craven warriors run from the battle, my lord. Round them up and send them back to the fight. Go ahead and send ourselves back up in there, and we've got Bless with Filth. It appears as though they started to rout on that side. What are you gonna do? You got defeated by skinks. Sometimes it happens. Uh, give me Menace from below right here to help out with that situation. Perfect. Exactly what I'd like to see. Warriors are rallying. Basically, I'm kind of hoping their leader goes down at some point, but uh, it doesn't appear to be happening. I'll call in uh, guys from below over here in just a minute, too, to kind of help out with that. I'm all about hard charging, bro. I'm all about hard charging. Although, you guys, what are you doing right now? Oh, you're chasing them down, huh? Hmm. It's not a good look, man. It's not a good look. I definitely need to slow down the gameplay. Put it in slow motion so that I can control things a little bit better. I think that's how this got uh, out of my hands. I think this got out of my hands. The real problem is just their hero over here. They would have folded pretty quickly if they didn't have their hero. Also, we're getting skirmished to death on this side, which is super fun. You guys go over here and box them in, please. And I want you, gents. Do I have control of this unit yet? 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 There we go. Go over there. Mm, our back lines are kind of having a rough day. It's an issue, but, you know, we're skirmishing. Everybody focus on these guys over here. Skirmish as much as possible. Uh, they're shaking a little bit right there, but, like, they're just skirmishing us to death right now. We're basically chasing people around. Luckily, uh, the hunger from below helps out a little bit with that. Makes it a tad easier to deal with. They're already shook, so they're heading over that way. Why are you guys not, like, rushing them? Apparently, they're rejoining the fray on that side. So I suppose we'll deal with that. My hero's sitting back here doing, like, jack shit nothing. So that's cool. As soon as that comes back up, uh, we'll start pulling. Did we kill their leader? Like, what's going on with their leader over here? And why is this not a thing that has been handled? Give me some clan rats right there. Uh, Deffy, thank you very much for those biddies. I appreciate it. There we go. Run them down. And just keep on messing with them. We'll end that one off real fast. But we're going to need to regenerate a little bit. That battle did not go according to a plan. Yeah, I'm thinking what I'm doing is I'm microing too much. I think you guys are right. I don't play a lot of Total War. So maybe just kind of putting them in lines and letting them do their thing as the battle unfolds is probably the smarter idea. I don't know. What do you guys think? We got a Pigeon Plucker Pendant. Allows me to cast Hex, but it makes him suck at melee. Okay. Alright, whatever, man. Sounds good to me. Um, we can either enslave or we can eat the captives. This is our last capture, so I think it's perfectly fine. I think I will probably take the enslave right here. <laughs> My power strength grows! So, we've got the Bizarre Talisman right there. Hey, what's up, uh, Sky uh, Cycle? Thank you, man. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate that support, dude. Okay. I'll try to maintain some semblance of order then as we go forward. Might be a smarter idea. Um. So, Sentinel of Time has got to be a little bit beat up right now. 
I think that was their main army right there, and so... Fight my, my brothers! I don't know if it's a good War. idea to go in now and hit this thing. Make these sick and die. Time, time to attack. Yeah, let's just go ahead and handle it. There we go. So all done. Decisive victory. They're wiped Climb out and they are gone. We'll We've got ourselves another chunk of food. The fate of those that remain is yours to determine. I can afford to occupy at level two, which would be kind of cool. That's something stuck in my coup. It's annoying the shit out of me. Like I got some I ate a salad and I've got like a leaf that's stuck in between two of my teeth. And it's just like sitting there and being annoying. It does cost 20 food. And my guess is that it's kinda like when you're playing as orcs, you probably wanna be, hey, love you too, rabbit. Oh, thank you. Yay. All better. My wife brought me floss. My wife brought me floss. See, that's what a good wife does right there. She's like the support character to your story. Like, yeah, you can bust heads and you can have like a high strength score and good attack power, but she's back there being like, I cast bless on the party. I cast circle of healing on the party. Huh? No, I don't think it's like that. You know, real yo, I'm trying to hang in there. I'm trying to hang in there, doing my thing. I'm trying to keep it real. I'm trying to keep it cracking. Um, I'm a YOLO it. Let's go for settlement two. I'm a YOLO it. The province is secured. It is now possible to give a commandment. Ooh, I can be like, I can be like Ratmosis. I can be up on the hill being like, hey, you fucking savages. Away with your golden calves! Put it directly in my bed. Where should we put the golden calf, sir? Inside my treasury. Thank you. <laughs> so we've got control of a province. That's going to give us 2,000 bucks and some warp stone your to kind of move that meter along. The province, my lord. Huzzah! Any contesting claim to this territory has been eliminated. Well, you need to tell me how to pronounce it first, and then maybe I'll stop fucking it up. <laughs> People on the internet got a thousand different ways they want their names to be pronounced. But, like, they never want to help out. Like, I'll be like, hey, what's going on, name? And they'll be like, you spelled it wrong. You said it wrong. But they never tell you how to do it. You gotta be constructive with your criticisms. Like Flight of the Concord said. I don't know if I want to split the Chaos Sea. It's pronounced Smith. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I had mostly bad teachers growing up, man. Teachers are the worst. Like, it seems like you get all the bad teachers, and there's, like, never any good teachers. And the good teachers always teach classes that are fucking pointless anyways, like, I don't know, history class. But, like, that's cool that that thing happened in, like, Yo, Essa. There we go. I'll do that. Yo, Essa. Gotcha. Um, like, that's cool that that thing happened in, like, 1100 AD, but how does that affect me today when I walk home from school? Like, that's cool and everything, but I don't really see why I need to know, like, I, I don't, I don't feel like Barbarossa really helps me right now. Like, when I go home, I'm still gonna have Pop-Tarts for dinner. I'm still gonna have a hole in my shoe. Is Barbarossa gonna fix the hole in my shoe? I don't think he is. Hey, Joe, thank you very much for that. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Rabbit, hey, how's it going? In Scotland, huh? You drinking an iron brew right now? Fuck that, Grump. I'm calling you Grump from now on. I already said it, though. I ain't got to repeat it a bunch of times. I already said it, though. I can see how that would be relevant if I was from England, but I'd be like, well... I mean, I guess through the chain of events, America wouldn't be possible without England, but still. I'm like, shouldn't I be learning something relevant right now? Like, how to overthrow everything and claim it for the proletariat? For workers! So Lord Skrulk has become more badass and got a sword of might. 
which gives him weapon strength. I don't know what that does, but cool. Hooray for me! We've got event messages over here. I'll probably close that off. What I'm getting from this is that I should probably go find Lord Skrulk and, like, commune with him for a moment. He hit level 4. He leveled up twice. So we can go with Plague Rush over here. We can go with Bless with Filth. We can go with Wither. We can go with Vermintide. Ooh. What does that do? Ooh, I get Clan Rats? I like that one. I can spawn them on the backside of my enemies and give myself an Insta Flank. I like that. And then, like, I don't think he's supposed to be fighting. So maybe I won't, like, give him fighting skills. Maybe I'll make him just, like, inspirational. He'd be like, yo, other clan rats, your hair's so beautiful right now. You keep up the fight, bro. And they'd be like, yeah, son. Yeah, I had the same problem in English. Mrs. Busby, she loved to teach English class in them leather pants, bro. It was tough, man. It was tough. It didn't help that all the other teachers were ugly. So, like, she was just, like, the hot teacher by default. But still, man, how am I supposed to learn about, like, conjugations and, like, adverbs and shit when she's wearing leather pants, bro? I'm 14. That basically just means I have a boner, like, 23 hours a day. Like, I can't focus. The blood goes one place or it goes another. Like, you drain all the blood from up here to get it down to there, and now I'm all bottom-heavy and shit. You throw me into a river and I just sink and die. I just rolled it back again. I gotta stop clicking that thing. So we got Vermintide and we took Inspiring Presence. That sounds pretty good to me. Although, in general, as I... As I recall with Total War, you really kind of want to focus on something and get to, like, the end of the tree as fast as possible so that you can be good at, like, one thing. You don't want to spread it around too much. You don't want to spread it around too much. Her loathsome appearance. Available at rank 6, which causes terror. That sounds pretty rad. So, I've got a Sword of Might now. That's pretty cool. I'd like to have a retinue, but we ain't got a retinue right now. We got kind of a retinold. And so, dad joke humor! Ha 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 ha! Dad joke humor! Ha 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 ha! Captain Frosty, thank you for those bits. I don't know if I said thank you for that, but thank you again. Our public order is really kind of fucked up right now. That being said, though, we've got a pretty good start going on. We've got a pretty good start going on. I kind of wish I could do a Taskmaster thing over here, but a Rattling Warren is probably a good idea. We get a population surplus over here, and I think that goes for, like, the entire area. So, like, if I focus on this as my growth center, if I focus on this as my recruitment center, and this is all my supplementary stuff, might be cool. Yeah, I'm in America. I'm on the West Coast, and so the basic way that it works is in junior high you do California history, which talks about how it used to be owned by the Spanish and owned by Mexico, and, like, how we fought a war, and you learn about all, like, the, ma the missions and everything else, and then you go on field trips to all the missions, and you learn about California history. I heard they do the same thing on the East Coast. If you live in, like, Boston and everything, you learn, like, revolutionary history and stuff like that. And then, like, freshman year, you do American history. And then sophomore year, you do world history. Junior year, you do, I think, politics. And then I think senior year, I did economics, I think was the way it worked where I lived. Hey, what's up, Funk? How's it going? You seem a little passive aggressive right now, man. Are you okay? I'm not trying. I'm not trying to be a dick. Believe I know that I have that naturally sarcastic asshole sound in my voice. But like, I feel like I say hi to you every stream, man. I feel like we have discord in our relationship right now, and we need to sit down and have a long talk, and like work this thing out so we can get back to the makeup sex. Like, I think people take it like I'm being an asshole and I'm being sarcastic all the time because I've got, like, a sardonic tone to my voice. And that's just what I have, man. That's just what I have. But believe me, I want you to be happy. I want you to be happy. I truly do. I want you to be happy, bro. Yeah, I was like, fuck that noise after algebra. I don't think I ever took a math class again after algebra. Like, high school math was the worst. I don't know. You should be able to whisper me. You should be able to whisper me in Twitch. I think. I see no reason why you shouldn't be able to. So over here, what do we want to do? I'm thinking rattling warrens. That's what. I'm, ooh, what are these right here? Alarm tunnels. Shrill alarm set off. Cannot be constructed in major. It gives me garrisons. Ooh, garrisons are good. I like garrisons. Me 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 me, Mr. Garrison. 
I'm gonna go with the Rattling Warrens, and then we've got tons of money, so I should probably spend right now. I'll probably do an alarm tunnel and garrison this place because I don't really want to babysit it or like stare at it for the next little bit. And we've already got recruitment going elsewhere. And so the garrison, con I mean, I guess I could use this as a rubbish pit and then we could take the rubbish pit up and that would give us untainted in case we get attacked by undead guys, but I don't know if we're going to get attacked by undead guys. Revolution, what's up, man? Alright, I'll see you later. Thanks for coming to the stream. Um, let's stick with that for right now, and I'll put a garrison in over here, and this place will be a little bit stronger, and I think public order gets better when you have a garrison, too. And then we'll take that up to level 3 as soon as we can, and that gives us Skaven Slave sling uh, Slingers. These guys need to chillax and, like, get their shit back together. I can probably take these two and merge them, so I don't have to pay the upkeeps. And then I think we're going to be about due for some new units anyways, so that'll make room for the new units. Our catapults kind of got fucked up a little bit, but that made a little bit of room. Can I recruit anything cool yet? Global recruitment is available to boost your armies far from home, my lord. Nah. Can't do anything cool just yet, so uh, I suppose we'll just march back to Oxal on the next turn, but we'll wait here for right now. We have a notification. What thing does it want me to do? Why is it concerned with Oxal right now? Um, hey, what's up, Cray? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Rabbit, I'm glad I have the ability to put you to sleep. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Catapults are like the shitty version of trebuchets. Need some trebuchets. Some trebuchets. Oh, that's what it wants right there. Efficient planning. We've got, so we can go public order plus two. That's probably a good idea, considering how terrible our public order is right now. We can generate more food. We can go with martial planning. I think I'm going to go with public order for right now. Public order seems like a good plan considering my rats are currently sharpening their knives and figuring out how to overthrow me. And so conquest bonus is pretty bad. Provincial instability we should be able to get on top of, I think. And then, uh, you know, cray cray. Take life one day at a time. Nothing you can do to get around it. That's just the way that it goes. Dirty Law, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Let's keep this thing going on. So there it is. We issued a commandment. We get 500 bucks for it. Yay. 500 Your bucks for no being a badass. Uh, we've also got a non-aggression pact with a following faction, the Vampire Coast. We have no interest in dead things besides what can your plagues do to things that are already dead. Useless. Make treaty pact. No fight with vampires. Turn on them later, of course. Okay. Where are the vampires at? Those don't look like vampires. Those look like lizard men. And then we've got, it looks like this area actually is mostly ruins. And I think the Skaven, I think the Skaven get bonuses for areas that are mostly ruins. It might be a good idea to push this direction to the sea. And once we push to the sea, like, they're not really going to get hit from any directions. We'll have a unified front over here. And so the I think that sounds pretty good. They'll Lord. be fucking fine. Soon Just look, we've got a plus three now. It's going to get better. Quickly. It's going to get better. I promise. It's gonna get way better. It's just gonna. It takes. It just takes some time. Little ratties wait around. It takes some turns. I just want my public order to be less shitty. But it, it takes time, so I can upgrade those to give me growth plus forty and extra food. That's probably a smart idea. So let's go ahead and do that now rather than later. Rattling warrens will take that up so that our growth continues to be good. And as soon as that is done. We'll have a better garrison over there. On this side, we can't really do much until this hits level 3. And that's where this stuff comes in. Um, Yoessa, I've been a streamer for like 3 or 4 years, I guess. But I never did it like full time. Hey, what's up, Homeland? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Rabbit, we've been up for about an hour right now. About an hour right now. About an hour. Really, I don't think there's a whole lot to do aside from like hang tight. And... So if I wanted to go global recruiting, I can finally get some shields and stuff now, but they're really expensive. So it might be worth it for me to head back to the capital and move them over to here so I can actually get, like, some shield guys. Oh, this gameplay we just started. An hour. Essentially, same answer. An hour. The fuck are those? Why are there T-Rexes out in the jungle? No! Oh, you little...
little fucker. I don't see how we're going to lose this fight. It seems a little unlikely to me. He's got one unit. Like... I don't see how this is going to go horribly. But I'll fight it, I guess. Uh, Yoessa, it should be going for a while. I usually stream for at least four hours. So it should be going for a bit. A bit, bit, bit. Mead is just wine with honey in it, right? It's like honey wine. So what I really need to do is I need to, like, back up over to here and give myself the high ground. Make it take a while for him to get here, you know what I mean? So that I can spawn a couple units of clan rats. And then, like, he can do his thing. But hopefully he won't get here. Nah, he's like level one. And I'm going to come back and kick his ass anyways when he tries to come over here, so... I'm just going to bring my army back and fuck him up. Hey, thank you, Atlas, for those biddies. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully I can get a couple of turns to spawn some rats. Why are you guys all sizzly? Why are you guys all sizzly? What the fuck is happening here? I don't know. Go over there then. I don't really know what to say. They're not all sizzly. Maybe they just die on their own. Seems likely. Like, I don't know why they're all sizzly though. Like, they're losing health right now. Maybe it's because... Oh, summon units decay over time. Okay. That's acceptable. Well, shit, I'll just spawn him on him then to slow him down. There we go. What's up, buddy? Clan rats fighting you. Clan rats from the ground, you poo. Gonna stab you in the face. You're not going any place. We're gonna kill you in the lizard man race. So die, 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 die. His morale looks a little shook. His morale looks a little shook already. It's because he's being attacked in his booty hole right now. He's being attacked in his rear. I knew it. See, that's how you defeat. Uh, that's how you defeat enemies, man. Dude, they're eating the shit out of this guy right now. Goddamn, clan rats! You guys are awesome. More, more clan rats for the clan rat throne. Victory is in our grasp, but we're not letting him run. Kill him. Slay him. Don't let him flee the battlefield. Kill him. Kill him right now. Everybody kill him. Dogpile him. I don't want them to have that hero anymore. Every hero the enemy has is a problem for me. So kill the shit out of him. Kill him all day long. Die, die, die. Clan rats rule. Valhalla Axeman, thank you very much for those bitties. I'm going to zoom in on his asshole, which is getting stabbed right now. That's right. Look at your dumb big old lizard T-Rex looking velociraptor ass getting beat up. Looking all dumb and shit. Are you guys actually, like, fighting him right now? There we go. This will make it better. He'll have to move through us. He has no choice. Slay him! You guys said I was going to get my ass kicked. I don't think that's entirely true. Although you should definitely... What are you guys doing? Like, why are you guys marching off to war with him? Kill him! Stab him in the face! God damn it, you guys. See, this is why I don't trust you guys to do what you're supposed to do. This is why I don't trust my rats. Although, you guys said I was going to get dominated. And frankly, I feel like we turned that thing around pretty good. I feel like we did pretty solid right there. I feel like we did good.
goodbye, asshole. I will see you later, asshole. Goodbye, go back to your lands, asshole. Oh, you're going... Oh, that's really dumb. That was a super dumb decision, because now I'm really going to fuck you up. A rival power desires a change in your mutual relations. So we've got, like, a, a non-aggression pact with who? Clan Spittle. I mean, they are Skaven, after all. I mean, I feel like we can kind of stick to our own and probably be alright. I don't know. Sure? I mean, I'm not going to help you with your wars. But I'll accept your offer because it makes me feel more powerful and I get free money. I mean... Free money is always good, right? Much warpstone found, but more is, is needed. Lizards are raced towards a ritual of their own. Skrulk must get there fast. So we've got to have 350 warpstone if we want to make this work. Major enemy cities will be fortified, sir. The capture. I am aware. Major cities tend to be. Uh, well, I mean, the Skaven way is to ally with somebody, then stab them in the asshole as soon as they're not oh, useful to you strong. anymore. Guess what, buddy? Play we are coming back to stab, fight. stab, kill, kill. Oh, auto resolve. Kill, You're a dead guy. I'm going to beat you, and I know why, because I got more dudes. So Look at your dead ass. You are lame God. because your class is weak. Hooray for Skaven. More, more Hooray for Skaven. Can I, can I get some ollies for the Skaven victory the here? Can I get some ollies for the Skaven victory? I feel like we've earned it. We made them look super dumb, and we have defeated them in the face holes. I might just globally recruit. I think I'm going to say fuck it. Oh, it's on local recruitment now. Well, that's good. I like that. I'm going to need some shields. I may actually just fire all these dudes. Because, like, I feel like the shield versions of these guys are probably better, right? So let's look. We have armor of 25 and leadership of 49. How is the armor the same when they have shields, though? I guess they've got an ability called meat shield that makes everything good. Uh, yeah, my dad texted me about tomorrow. He said we're going to dinner tomorrow night. We're going to dinner tomorrow night in Fairfield, I guess, or something like that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hey, Zathras, thank you very much for those biddies. Uh, I kind of feel like, so is there any difference between, like, these guys have better attack, but they have worse melee defense. <laughs> Better weapon strength. Okay, cool. And what's the difference between these two right here? Like, it should just be, like, universally better, right? They're just, like, upgraded versions of these shitty little bastards over here. I mean, none of them have XP. If they had so... Like, my argument for people saying that I should use these guys as a meat shield... <laughs> Um, if they had these things right here that they had leveled up, yeah, I'd keep them. Because leveled up units are far more useful than just, like, upgraded units. Like, a guy with a shield and a spear is not quite as good as a guy with just a spear who has, like, two little chevrons for his veteran status. They tend to fight a lot better because that means they've leveled up. So, um, but none of these guys have upgraded at all, so I don't know. Well, thanks, Pelico. I appreciate that, man. It's very kind of you. Uh, we've got... A saboteur. Income from sacking settlements has gone up. We've killed an enemy in battle. Our enemy belonging to the Southern Sentinels has died in the Battle of the Sentinel Valley of Time. Okay. Cool. I don't know if it's time for us to get a second army yet. If we get a second army, I'd feel a little safer because I'm really worried that what's going to happen is I'm going to go off to war down here with these guys and take all their stuff. And then these motherfuckers are going to hit me from the north. And then I'm going to feel hella dumb. Victory, the horned rat shit us. I don't think you can upgrade them. I don't think that's an option. Captain Frosty, thank you for the bits, man. Thank you for the bits. Uh, Warhammer 2 is more of the same with Warhammer 1. It's basically just a... I think Warhammer 2 is kind of an excuse to charge you full price to give you a bunch of new armies. When they could have just done it with like a DLC, but I'm not going to hate. They've probably worked on the AI. I saw the AI do some crafty shit when I was playing it by myself. And so I was like, oh, that's new. I've never seen Warhammer armies... I'm sorry, I've never seen Total War armies do that before. And so I was kind of surprised about that. And so I think maybe they made the AI a little bit better. Thank you, Cycle. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for coming to the stream. Pretty much, man. 
They love that shit over at Games Workshop. How can we nickel and dime our fan base as much as possible? So here's the thing. I can stack up money for a couple more turns, or I can hire a new hero back over here, like a... Do I have any warriors around here? Hey, thank you very much. Holman, thank you for those biddies. Squirt the Musk of Fear. All I have is Gracier's, and what I want is a head taker. Like, I want one of the, uh, I want one of the warrior guys. And unfortunately, I don't have access to that just yet. I don't know if I want to take a Gracier. I think I have to build a building to do something different. And I can't get assassins or anything like that because I need hideouts. So maybe I'll wait for it a second. There's also, I could also hire a lord and then fire him afterwards when I get the guy that I want. But our upkeep is really good right now. Like, we've got a surplus that's pretty solid at the moment. And I think I could hire another army just to defend us from northern people. So... Like, that's all that I'm worried about is I just don't want to get hit from the north right now. Hmm. His recruitment seems to be taking longer. That's okay. We'll get him lined up with just, like, some basic units. Just have him sit there and recruit for a little bit. Uh, Yoessa, no, I haven't done anything like that because my desk looks like a nightmare. In general, that's just like a... It's one of those things that I'm like, well... I don't have like one of those cool looking battle stations like a lot of people have on the internet. Mine is just like a super cheap like Ikea desk with a whole bunch of shit all over the place. Like there's pills, there's like weird nerd statues, there's soda cans everywhere. It's not a good look. It's not a good look. What is he doing? What does that mean? Loyalty of five. Okay. I'm gonna take him to the south after he gets done recruiting and fuck these dudes up. It looks like they leveled up from kicking the crap out of that lord who decided he wanted to get warpstone tokens. Ooh, we get a power reserve. So we've got pack leader. Melee attack is plus four for clan rats. That's probably pretty good. Brocephus, thank you very much for those biddies, sir. I'm trying my best, dude. I'm trying my best. Thank you for the kind thoughts. Um, bla or we can be blast master, so we get warp fire. We get respected. Weapon strength goes up with our shock troops. The molder knowledge charge bonus for rat ogres. We don't even have rat ogres. I think I'm going to go with pack leader. We'll just keep our basic units nice and strong. Thank you, Nekno. That's very kind, man. Your kind have the tendency to fill out any place they occupy, my lord. In time, your fetid presence begins to increase disquiet within a province. Oh, that's not good. I need to update my, uh... So we've got that right there. We're generating food. I need the next public order upgrade, like, bad. I'm gonna take that up to level 3 as soon as possible so I can get the next public order upgrade. And it looks like they're raising an army over there for something. Sneaky little bastards. Alright, well, move your ass. He can't move until he gets done recruiting. That's fine. I'm gonna head on into here, although I can only... I can't really take this stuff over because... I'll just sack it. I can't take this over because my public disorder bonus is too high right now. So... We'll just auto-resolve that because that's not a battle that's worthy of our time. And then over here, I think what I'll probably do... What is that right there? Province instability. Okay. Uh, what Nothing I'll probably do... Ooh, we get so much money for plundering it, though. Or I could just raise it to the ground. And then I could rebuild it once I'm ready. I'll probably do that. Just raise it to the ground real fast. And then we will rebuild it once we're cool. So we've gated trait, plan buster... Uh, we've achieved victory over lizard men multiple times. We get plus five to morale when we're against lizard men. Awesome. Super rad. That's a bonus that I'm actually pretty happy about. It's a pretty good bonus right there. It's not a bad bonus. Uh, honestly, I'm not. Is that Garrett again? You're like the only person with a black name. No, Broken Song Dragon. Sorry, I got the black. But you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to take it off dark mode. I can't see people in dark mode. Let's see here. Ooh, thank you for that sub. Idalia, thank you very much. 
Uh, dark mode, go away. Where are you, dark mode? Oh, I can only do dark mode through my dashboard now. That's unfortunate. Oh, man. Well, anyways. Um, no. I'm not very good at this game. In fact, I've been getting tips from my chat, so... Cassius, or Kaisius, thank you very much for letting that sub roll over. I appreciate that, man. Very kind of you. I know. I like my sub music. My sub music makes me happy. I'm going to attach him. We've also got the World's Edge Armor, which gives him armor plus four and an ability called World's Edge Armor that makes him get plus 60 armor. So that's not bad. We stole some Dwarven armor, and now we're keeping it for ourselves. That should be the death of the faction down here. Oh, they have gold over there? So what can I do with this right here? I can rebuild it. It'll cost us some money, but I can rebuild it without any penalty, right? Did you guys know? Do you guys know if I get some kind of like public order penalty or anything like that when I'm trying to go through right here? Because I can't take public order penalties right now. That's just what I cannot do at the moment. That's the one option that I don't have. Nah, the color of his text is black, and I've got the black background. <laughs> All right, so let's rebuild down here. I am the play god. My eyes gone, but I see. Colonize at level one. So there it is. We got the Southern Sentinels down here. Uh, they are apparently. Oh, it takes a chunk out of your army when you do that because you need people to settle it in the first place. Ah, I learned a new thing today. What do I want to do with this down here? I'll probably just go with casually. Like I. Maybe we'll go with Rubbish Pits. We can take that up to level 3 right here. We don't have Rubbish Pits anywhere else, so... I'll do some Rubbish Pits. We got money. Actually, we don't have money. Good lord. Where did my money go? Where, oh where can my money be? It seems like I've spent it all on shit. Ooh. So we can get a Plague Lord. We can get a Plague Priest. We can get a Plague of Decay. Voice of the Horned Rat. We can make ourselves a little bit better right there. Envoy. We get plus 10 with Skaven. All right. I'll probably just keep working on Pack Leader and making my pack stronger because we're running all Clan Rats right now. And so making their melee attack a little bit stronger will give us kind of an edge over the enemy, I think. So that sounds good to me. Finalize that. This dude's going to have to sit down here and just chill for a little bit. There's not going to be a whole lot that he can do right there. So we'll give it some time. We'll give it some time and do our thing. Give it some time and do our thing down there. Um... Bypass the turn and hope there's not a giant invading army coming right now. Because if there is, it's gonna suck. Ah, there is a giant invading. It's not a giant army. It's like a little stinky, skinky army. So he's got Saurus warriors. He's got those guys right there. I think we can turn this into a win. We'll just have to be careful about Menace below. Like, it's saying we're gonna lose. We don't have, like, terrible soldiers over here. Hey, Grump, thank you very much for those biddies. I appreciate that, sir. I mean, as long as I can summon Menace below, I actually think this group will be okay. It keeps saying that we have no chance of winning, but then I steamroll their army so hard, and it's, like, not even that bad. So I don't really know what to say about that. Like, we've got an okay army here. I don't know on what authority they think we're going to lose. Sauruses are kind of fucked up, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, those are Skaven slaves right there, so they might as well not even count in the first place. Hey, what's up, butt plug? How you doing, man? Dirty ass skinks. We'll fight them. So I'm going to pull back pretty hard, and I'm going to pull back to the high ground right here so that we have a better chance of taking these dudes. Uh, skinky slaves. I don't know what I want to do with skinky slaves. Because they're going to route hella fast, and so, like, I'll put them out in the front, and I'll put them on skirmish mode so that they can do their thing. We'll start our battle off, and we'll just kind of let them close. And so the second they come in right here, what we'll do is we'll spawn these guys right behind them. Like, I don't know if my better option is, because they have a leader with their guys right here. So they got Saurus clubs right there. Sauruses are big bat. Like, if you don't know what a Saurus is, it's basically like a giant T-Rex, dude. 
they're your big guy when you play Blood Bowl. If you've got Sauruses, they're like basic. They're not big guys. I'm sorry. They're not big guys in Blood Bowl. But they are like the best non-big guy units you can possibly have in Blood Bowl. Like they're really good. They've got like a 5 strength or something like that by default. Or like a 4 strength and they cost the same as guys that cost 3 strength. They're pretty good. So my question for right now is I don't know if I should spawn these guys right here and fight them in the midfield just to soften them up a little bit. Or if I should wait till they get a little further afield to do it. I don't know how I want to play that. I'm not good at games like this, man. I'm not good at games, all right? I'm not good at games. It's just something I'm not good at. That's true. If they come all the way over here, they're going to be tired. And they're moving fast right now, so they are going to get tired before they get here, too. But what'll happen is the archers will fall back on their own because they're on a uh, they're on skirmish mode. That's why they're out there. It's because they'll fall back. The high ground is yours, Commander. Be sure to use it to best advantage. Now, yes. Yep, you guys just be right there. Just be right there. That's your only option. So fire at will. There we go. Wait, are those Skaven slaves? Don't do that. Never mind. That was a terrible mistake. Don't do it. You guys go march over there. You guys march up through here. We'll help out over there. You guys just keep firing arrows into the middle of them. Use the high ground on that side. Skaven slaves, maybe like hit them from over here. And then we'll go like this right here. Q. There you go, and you guys hit them from behind. You guys do something similar on this flank. Although we're already routing. I think their lord is causing some serious problems here. Well, at least we'll soften them up for later. If the worst happens right here. So it looks like they're running and we're giving chase. At least on some level. Dude, that ability is so clutch. That ability is really, really fucking good. I can't imagine playing against that shit like in a, against a normal player. Like against the AI, it's really good. But against like a skilled player who knows what they're doing, it'd be a nightmare. Yo, Essa, thank you very much for the sub, man. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Thank you, sir. Uh, you guys need to continue just fighting over here. Stop running around doing dumb shit. So these cats are broken on this side too. They just rallied, but they're losing, their morale's going down as they're charging up the hill. So I'm not really sure what to say about that right there. These guys are still trying to do something. I don't know if I should protect the backfield flank right here. I will, just in case. I don't want to get charged in my rear, so we'll go ahead and... Nah, I, I'm giving my voice a rest. Unfortunately, it was being really hard on my voice, and so... No, do not do that thing that you were doing. I only wanted them. Get them. Yes. Kill them. Kill them, die, die. Kill them, kill, kill, stab, stab. Alright. We should have this thing squared away, I think. Sure. 
So yeah, their lord's down now. So there it is. We managed to defend the settlement. Good stuff. I like turning, like, I like it when the AI says that I'm definitely going to lose and we turn it around a little bit. Like, you ever have those battles in Rome Total War where, like, the AI is like, you're definitely going to lose. They have 6,000 men. You have 1,000 men. And you turn that shit into a victory, it makes you feel kind of like a badass. It's always fun. So we gained a little bit of food from fighting them, and we defeated their army. Uh, I'll probably just take that right there so that we get the leadership bonus. Let's enslave them. We'll take the extra food, too. And so, you know, enslave the people who are left over. And his army's probably just gonna sit there and have a dumbass look on its face. I'm playing a Skrulk right now, Pretzel. Playing a Skrulk. I'm not sure what they were thinking right there. That was definitely not their brightest decision. Some great and terrible power. I see you have hidden it away as bait. Hey, what's up, Snicker? How you doing, man? Man things. It appears the trap has been sprung. Now it is time to recover your book. All right, Rabbit, I'll see you later. Thanks for coming to the stream. Sky Shadowing, what's up, man? Yeah, I need to click on the flags. I think you're right. I keep clicking shit wrong and, like, fucking up. the enemy scurries away from your might. Show them no mercy. Well, I would finish them if I had an army in the region, but I don't have an army in the region. This guy's over here just, like, taking forever because Skaven are all on the fence about being a part of the army right now. Because they lack patriotism. And so... Gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. They're replenishing down here. This army's busted as fuck at the moment, and so they need to take some time. It's because I donated, like, half my units over here to this city. But we do have, like, advice people over here. So, I'm sorry, we got people that are... Advancing a little bit. That's the word that I wanted. We got people that have gotten a little bit stronger on that side, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I don't know what I want to do right now. I kind of want to pass a turn, but I think he's going to come back because he's a douche. He's a douche. Yep, we're playing as Skaven. The only building we're really actively working on right now is that one. That won't go up to level 3 until we have surplus population, and that's going to take some time. So, unfortunately, I think we may have no choice but to, like, sit on this shit and just kind of wait for it. Almost done with the rubbish pit down there, though, which will be cool. Hey, what's up, uh, Niche? How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Well, thank you, Decentus. I appreciate that, man. I mean, all the good vibes I can get right now. As soon as this is done, we can bring our public order up by another level, too, and that'll help out a bit. Our public order is a little fucky at the moment. We are, like, on the edge of rebellion, and I don't know if I can deal with that, so... Let's wait and see what the AI decides to do. Trickstar, thank you very much for those biddies. I appreciate that. Very kind of you, sir. Oh, shit. What is that? That's a big-ass army. That's what that is. is to exert control over the theater of war. Place your warriors in What the fuck? There's dwarves? And study the enemy positions to find the best avenues of attack. Oh, that's not good. Well, shit. Oh, cool, the sentence. Yeah, I got the email. I just haven't had time to respond to my emails yet today. Woke up, spammed out a couple of videos real fast, and then uh, started streaming. So I'll, I'll be handling my, my emails tonight. Oh, blessed filth. Yeah, go ahead and transfer on over. I'm going to feel a lot more comfortable if I have two armies in this region now that I know there's a big-ass Dwarvish army right there. On the plus side, it looks like the Dwarvish army is trying to fucks with Dam. And so if the Dwarvish army messes with my enemies, I don't really mind about that too much. It's just I don't feel like... Uh, I don't feel too much like dealing with that army because that army's scary as fuck that's a big ass army right there and dwarves are really good so like dwarves are crazy overpowered in warhammer total war like they are ludicrously overpowered like you can steamroll like i played dwarves and i steamrolled the entire map in like record time by comparison to every other army it's just the dwarves are crazy fucking good in warhammer total war they are really really good they needed to be nerfed ever so slightly like bring their unit costs up i think is probably that they can't maintain like the thing is, they're really expensive, but I don't think they're quite expensive enough. At least, I don't know how much the game has been patched. I played at launch with Warhammer Total War, and the dwarves were just like wrecking balls of overpoweredness.
first spawn, we call for peace. In exchange for $2,200? How about go fuck yourself? I ain't paying you 2200 bucks. Get fucked by dwarves. That's a little bit more concerning. one might be a little bit more sketchy, but I think if we have enough menaces below, we'll be alright. I mean, regardless of what happens, he's not going to hold it, but if he, like, raises it and destroys everything, it's going to be a little bit upsetting. Like, on the plus side, like, I'm playing Skaven right now, Fun Punchy. On the plus side, he's about to get wrecked by dwarves, which is the only reason he sued for peace. I mean, I would have taken the peace offer if he had been like, I'll do it for free, or I will pay you money. But he wanted two grand for me to stop a war I'm winning. I'm just like, what? What universe do you think I have to pay you to stop a war that I'm winning? You must be out of your damn mind. Alright, so let's get everybody assembled up here. I really don't want Skaven slaves to be involved in the fight much if I can help it. Like, Skaven are my favorite in this one. In the previous game, I prefer Orcs. Although, I find that Orcs kind of struggle. Like, in the original, like I said, I haven't played since launch. In the original one, uh, stream lag time should be about three seconds. I think it's whatever the lowest setting is. Um, in the original Total War Warhammer, I always felt like Orcs were at a bit of a disadvantage. Because their whole, like, uh, they have to pillage to keep their wall going thing was really powerful if you could maintain it. But if you ever had, like, any sort of, like, period of peace... You were fucked. Like, that was it. It all fell apart and you lost. And so it was a mechanic that could be frustrating at times. I'm going to let themselves tire themselves out walking up a hill. Basically, I'm going to corner camp this thing as hard as I can. So they're tired by the time they get here. And then, yeah, this one, this one should be going up on, uh... This one should be going up on YouTube. Uh, bring the slaves back. We'll put each to a flank to decide what we want to do with them. These cats can be out front. Scooch. I mean, Warhammer, to Warhammer 2 is basically more of the same. Like, if you want more factions... That's basically all that it is. It's like a faction expansion that they're charging you 60 bucks for. Yeah, I turned off the chat because the UI was already hella busy. And so um, there's not going to be any chat on it when it goes on YouTube, unfortunately. It's tough to find a balance with games that have like a crazy fucking busy UI. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually getting an overlay. And what we'll do is we'll shrink the game flavor so slightly so it's got a sidebar and a bottom bar. And then the chat will go in the bottom bar so it's not impeding gameplay. And then you can just watch it in full screen and it still should be just as good. But I'm kind of worried when the Skaven Slaves, when they break inevitably, they're going to cause everybody else to break too. Because I know they like siphon, they siphon morale from each other in some weird way, like an aura. Hey, what's up Magic Cat? How's it going? So these guys are already wounded. Which means that when they start to take losses, they should, these skink cohorts kind of worry me with the javelins a little bit, but... So he just ran cold-blooded. Hey, thank you very much for those biddies. Yeah, one and two are going to be like folded into each other once the full release comes out. It's a kitty. Yay. It's a cat. He is great. He is a cat. On your plate. I'm going to fuck up their charge right here. Just to mess with them a little bit. Oh, they don't. Is that because they're expendable? Is that what the expendable thing does? There we go. I'll start this thing off, and if we can get some morale damage done right here in the beginning to these guys. Um, 
it'll work out a little bit better. I mean, they are taking losses. That's fine. They're just summons anyways. Their only job was to cause a little bit of damage to that charge right there and fuck up their lines. That was the entire point. Well, I suppose I'll put these guys up front then. Now that I know that they don't affect morale. They do have a hero, which is like... A little concerning. But, uh... So go ahead and break their charge over here with the slaves. It looks like they've broken up their lines for some weird reason. And so hit them from both sides with a pincer attack. Sorry, I got the wrong unit right here. Hit them from both sides and chew them on up. I don't know what they're doing back here, but they're doing something. So to delay them until this happens over here and these guys fall apart... Um, I'm gonna put another. I'm gonna put these guys out here just to kind of blunt the charge for a minute. And right about the time these guys fall apart. I should be able to do something about the Sora Spears over here with another unit. Hey, thank you for the bit, Snicker. I appreciate that. So they're getting eaten up pretty badly right there. Our next reinforcement's gonna drop right here and just really fuck with them. And I think that should be okay. Like, we're not looking too bad right now. Like, things are looking manageable. The enemy is taking losses. The enemy is having trouble. We do have a flank that's about to fold over there. But I think it should be okay. So send in the clan rats now. Right here. So hold that. Give me another unit right there to hit the back of their lines. Yep, just surround them and fuck them up. Things appear to be going well. Our summoned units are the only ones that are actually running away. Uh, these dudes are pretty fucked up with the Saurus Spears. They're going to do a little damage on this side. Yoessa, thank you very much. We do have a weird little bit of, like, flanky action happening on this side. But they're breaking, so I don't think it's going to matter. Guard that flank right there. I don't know if I want you guys to chase him down or not. You guys come back and hit that flank right there. As soon as their leader goes, we should be solid. And we are all out of summons. So if this decides it wants to go sidelong, it's not going to be a good look. But... Things are not looking too terrible. These guys can't decide if they're broken or not. Their morale is coming back ever so briefly. They've run out of javelins, and so the skink cohort has joined the combat. But they are taking damage as well. Yo, yo, 
Join that fight right there. Yeah, you don't start with rad ogres when you're playing this army, unfortunately. Wish that we did, but we don't. You guys help out over there now that you've routed them. We've got spearmen running away at the moment, but when their lord routes, we should be good. Yeah, I was going to say, we should be rallying right now. There it is. So all done. God. They just really want that territory. And, like, I'm in the process right now of, like, I'm in the process at the moment of, like, recruiting an army to keep these northern attacks from happening. So this line just needs to hold over here. If it can hold, we're good. If it can't hold, it's just like, we're in trouble. Like, I just need two more turns, and we'll be solid. We do have our garrison is leveling up, though, which is really bad for him. That's, like, super bad for him. I'm gonna go with... Leadership plus four for another couple turns. Well, he solved that problem for me. I don't know if we're at war with them right now. I should probably check in the diplomacy menu. My guess is that we are probably at war with them. Uh, dwarves don't tend to like Skaven very much. So it is what it is. Dude, I suck at this game. I gotta be focused. It's one of those times where if I don't pay attention, I start losing hella dumb battles. And then I look stupid on the internet. And I'm kind of done looking stupid on the internet, man. Kind of done looking stupid on the I'm trying. Trying not to look dumb on the internet. Would no doubt lead to war amongst your own kind. Yet the warpstone must be yours. Prepare for an attack. <laughs> Real Yoes, so thank you very much for those biddies. So we've got a mission to go and take. The altar of the horned rat Wolf, over there, I guess. These runs rarely emerge from under their mountains. Don't be fooled by their stunted height. They are hardy, stubborn creatures and are not to be underestimated in battle. Jeff Rock. Uh, thank you, man. I'm glad you like the stream. Thank you for swinging on through. Fucking jet lag, dude. I know that feeling. Whenever I go to what conventions, I get that tile? shit. Because they're always like on the East Coast and stuff, so you're just like. It's not, like, super bad jet lag, like when I go to Hawaii to visit family, but it is what it is, you know what I mean? Um, since Sabaton is getting hit a lot, I'm thinking that maybe upgrading the garrison is a smart idea. Making it a little... Oh, good, our public order is recovering. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm going to go after that for right now. Uh, army upkeep is kind of breaking us a little bit, but it should be all right. So I moved him over to here. He's almost recovered. Keep moving him back this way, because I think we're going to need multiple armies to beat the dwarves. They just, they are the exact opposite of Skaven. Like, all of their units are really good and really expensive. Our, all of ours are really cheap and really shitty. And so they tend to steamroll you pretty hard when they get a big army moving. This guy's done next turn. So just in case, I'm going to position both the armies right here and kind of look like, kind of look out for it. You know what I mean? They have Thrice Cursed Peak over here. Do they have an, oh, they do. They have a pass into our lands. That's not good. Okay. They've actually got themselves a nice little valley over there. I don't like the way that looked at all. Are you like a general contractor? Like, what do you do? Like, what kind of like what kind of contractor does a lot of traveling? I don't know what Divinity to. I kind of feel like uh, the channel's burned out on it. I've got numbers to back it up and whatnot, so I'm like, I could like try to finish it, but at the same time, it's a long ass game, and uh, abandonment seems pretty high on it, and so it's kind of a hard call. Oh, a contract air traffic controller. Yeah, that's a stressful job, man. I almost got a, I almost got an apprenticeship to do that. When I got out of high school, I should have taken it. When I got out of high school, my dad's friend was like, "Hey, I'll train you to be an air traffic controller, and they'll pay you like 120 grand a year." And I was like, "No, that's not cool. I'm in a band. I'm trying to be a rock star." Should have fucking done it, man. Should have fucking done it. And see now, now my my name in Hawaiian is Maka. That sounds a lot more Hawaiian. 
maca. There is no end hey, what's up, Loki? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Of your kind, my lord. So we need an overseer's lookout, and we need an assassin's hideout. Of work. Both of those would be pretty cool. I definitely wouldn't turn them down. They'd be kind of awesome. To work. Yeah, I heard the, like, that's another reason I turned it down is because I Googled around. They said the burnout rate for air traffic controllers is pretty high. And I don't really think, like, anybody should give me responsibility for other human lives. I just... I don't feel like intellectually I'm up to that level. Like, probably shouldn't give me a job where people die. If, they, if, if I fuck up and people die, I probably shouldn't have that job. Hey, what's up, Rabbit? How you doing? Black Wolf, not much. Just kind of playing a little bit over here. So I need an Assassin's Hideout and Overlooker's Lookout. Build upon the bones. Oh, we got Builder. Very cool. Okay, so construction cost is down and income is up. Sounds great to me. No complaints from me over here in my peanut gallery. Yeah, dude, I don't want a Breaking Bad somebody. You know what I mean? You got, like, planes that are just like, blap! And I'd be like, oh, fuck, it wasn't me! That would be my first response. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. I called in sick today. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't think I ever want to have a job where people die if I fuck up. Because, like, I know my work history, and I fuck up a lot, man. Like, I... I'm pretty good at fucking up. <laughs> Simple tasks. Complicated tasks. Doesn't really matter. What's up, Sig? How's it going, man? What's it going? How's it going, man? So our army is done over here. That's probably good. I'm gonna send him off this way. And, like, maybe some races must construct buildings before they can get certain technologies. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Uh, Real Yoessa. Well, it's hard to get into, but hard to get out of. I don't know, bro. What's well, hard to get into, but I feel like there's a dirty punchline coming. And then I wanted to build that thing so that my public order goes up and everybody loves me and thinks I'm the greatest clan rat leader. And then we already have one of those. Wait, how did I get that? How did I get a hidden lair for... What? My buildings feel differently than the, I thought they were. Oh, it's because it starts right there. Never mind, I'm fucking dumb. Uh, we can get rat ogres, dude. Rat ogres would be kind of useful. Rat Ogres are really good in this game because they kind of make up for one of the weakest points of the Skaven. Like, the Skaven kind of suck at prolonged combat because they're just, they're squishy. Like, they're just not good at holding the line unless you have, like, a uh, Storm Vermin and stuff like that. Trouble. Gotcha. There was no dirty punchline there. I thought there was going to be a dirty punchline, but nope. No dirty punchline. Um, but Rat Ogres kind of make up for that weakness. They're pretty much indestructible. And if you can get them into an enemy's flank... Holy shit, they do work. They do work. Storm vermin are pretty good, though, too. Um, but storm vermin are pretty high up the chain, I think. A hell pit abomination. What the fuck is a hell pit abomination? Oh, they haven't done the thing yet. Mr. Casual Violence, thank you very much for those biddies, sir. I appreciate that. It's very kind of you. I could get covert choke points and make it really hard to hit my capital. We're only going to have like a few more building slots though, so I want to be careful about what I build. So storm vermin are up there. That's the part that bothers me is that like... Can I even get to storm vermin? Oh, I can. I can get to storm vermin at my secondary place. Okay, good. So that means I don't need to do storm vermin here. So we can go with catapults. Catapults are good, man. Like, I've actually run... Hey, what's up, one-click butt plug? How's it going, man? Is that like an upgraded version of a butt plug? Just takes one click? <laughs> it's, it's hooked to your Wi-Fi? I right, hold on. Let me log into my butt plug. God damn it. I can't remember if there's a capital at the beginning. Was it... What number was it at the end? Was it 1972? Was it 1978? Fuck. I can't remember. It's plug and play. <laughs> USB powered. 
Links directly into your cam. So you can put on a nice little cam show for people and be like, woo! I'm jealous of cute girls always having that as a backup plan. Like, if you're like a cute lady, you can never truly be broke because you can always just become a cam girl. You know what I mean? Like, as a dude, especially as like a soft six, like, that's just not an option for me. Like, I can actually be broke. Like, I don't have any op- like, it's a last option, like prostitution. But like, it's there, you know what I mean? Like, it's still kind of there. Like, it may not be an option you like, but it's- I'm like, well, just let the world exploit me for money then, fuck it. You know, it's always like a- it's always like a backup plan, though. Like, I don't have that. Like, I- I'm not cute enough to panhandle. I gotta get like a dog or like a kid or something, if I want to panhandle. It's fucked up, bro. That's true, I guess I could become a burglar. Plague Monks are kind of cool, and I get a discount for Plague Monks, but I want Rat Ogres too, though. Like, I feel like Plague Monks are less useful than Rat Ogres. I'm gonna get Rat Ogres. I want Rat Ogres. Dude, I read a Reddit thread about Gigolos that was, like, actually kind of interesting. Like, I like Reddit threads like that, where somebody did, like, Gigolos of Reddit, like, what was your job like? And most of them were like, it was mostly just, like, dudes blowing me. And I was like, that's a weird turn. So apparently, like, 90% of gigolos just get hired by undercover gay dudes with families. And, like, you don't even have to blow anybody or anything. They blow you, and then you get paid for it. I'm like, this economy seems very strange. And that's, they all agreed on it. Like, every gigolo was like, yeah, that's pretty much my job, man. Just getting blown by other dudes for money. And I was like, you don't even have to blow the dude? He blows you? Well, shit. I mean... That uh, doesn't seem too bad. I mean, I, I mean, it's still a little bad. But at the same time, it's not as bad as I expected. Like, I expected it was just not going to be like a non-stop train of dudes. And like, you know, like those ladies that hang out at the Walmart and those wheelie carts that are electric. They'd be like, because they're too big to move around. Like, I thought it was going to be hella gnarly. And as, that, as it turns out, as it turns out, apparently some guys want to be gay on the weekend but be straight on the weekdays. I don't know. I don't think a closet is anywhere to live your life, you feel me? But I guess if you got kids and stuff. It's kind of like a, a weird situation to be in. I don't know. Let me go get a drink, man. I'm out of stuff to wet my whistle right now. My whistle's feeling very unwet. I'll be right back. Enjoy uh, this chair. This glorious chair. So how'd the chair do? Did he do good? The chair do solid? I need a progress report on how the chair did. Did he do a good show? 
He pop off and say some rowdy shit, cause sometimes that mouth gets running. Sometimes that mouth gets running. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm back, sorry. It was like I went out there to get a drink, and then I was like, but also a snack, because I'm kind of a little hungry. Like, my problem is, here's the thing. I eat, like, eight meals a day. Like, I eat little tiny meals. Like, I'll eat, like, two oranges, and then an hour and a half later, I'll have, like, some noodles. Then, like, an hour and a half later, I'll have, like, I eat very small meals, like, nine times a day. And so streaming is kind of complicated in that respect, because, like... I can stream for like five hours and during that time in real life I would have normally had like three meals and so I feel hella hungry but I'm like I don't really want to like I don't really want to fucking like eat on stream but at the same time <laughs> what can I say except you're welcome no I had one orange thing and I dropped it already Oranges are bad. Damn it. Do these things go bad so quickly? I bought these like five days ago, and before I can eat the entire bag, these are the last two in the bag. They go bad so quickly. They go bad so quickly. Like, I ate that, and it tasted like a tomato. And I don't think an orange is supposed to taste like a tomato. Thank you for that subscription, Viper Sniper. Sweet Polly Plunkett, lay in the grass. Tenderize heavenward sighing. I am a lass, just a lass, loves a lad, who a lass has a lass, loves another lad. See, that's some deep white people music right there. That's some deep country white people music. <laughs> hey, uh, real Yoessa, thank you for those biddies, man. I know, man. I'm hoping The Rock runs for president. I mean, I figure, fuck it, man. If we're gonna do this thing, just make it The Rock. I bet The Rock would be a dope-ass president. Walk up on Putin like, can you smell? With that crazy look on his face. What The Rock is cooking. Hey, Sticker Snaps, thank you very much. God, that was awful. I gotta rinse that taste out of my mouth. So I don't know if I should preemptively move armies over here because these dwarves are looking a little rowdy. But I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. These armies concern me. These armies concern me greatly. Oh, everybody loves The Rock. And I gotta love The Rock because he's Samoan. So I'd be like, yeah, Pacific Islander president. Fuck yeah, bro. Get us out the sugar fields. Save us. Liberate our people! Aya! Aya! Oh, I'm glad you like Cataclysm DDA. That song's hella catchy though, huh? I'm just a lass, loves a lad, who a lass has a lass, loves another lad. It's because you get to do the high voice right there. Wars to come will That's be the best part of any song is when you get to go falsetto. As well as Consider expanding your facilities to permit the recruitment of Why are you even mind. here, you filthy heroes fucking human be... bastard? Shouldn't my advisor a faction has been destroyed? Good fuck them. What are these right here? Why are there T-Rexes in my backyard? Like I don't think that's a good thing. Like, have you ever woke up with T-Rexes in your backyard? You don't want T-Rexes in your backyard, man. Hey, Kaylin, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Oh, they conquered that place, though? Fuck, that sucks. And dwarves always have really good public order, too, so they, like, never have rebellions. Because dwarves just, like, accept whatever they get. It's a side effect of being a dwarf. You just accept whatever life gives you. You're like, oh, well, you know, it's written in the Book of Grudges, so I guess it is what it is. I have no say in anything. I am a lad who a lass loves a lass as another lad. Uh, some slingers would be pretty dope. Some slangers strapped with the bangers. Rocks up in they fangers. Hey, just a cool person. Thank you very much for the biddies, man. Nah, I don't need biddies to cheer up. The stream's good enough, dude. The stream's good enough. Like, I always feel better when I stream for a little while. I really sincerely do. Like, I, uh... 
I don't know, the streams make me feel better. I like the streams, they're fun. It's like hard to be in a bad mood when you have social interaction, you know? I don't know if I should hire more troops over here, but we're kind of broke because I'm like building right now. Like I'm trying to get the infrastructure of our glorious Republic of Skavendom taken care of. And motherfuckers trying to jam me up and cost me money. Trying to jam me up. Public order's on the rise over here though, so that's good. Oh, we can upgrade that. It's only 1600, we might as well. Chaos Dwarves are fucking terrible at Blood Bowl. I played against Chaos Dwarves and I was like, are you guys even playing the game right now? It seems like you're just running around punching people. Everybody on your team has like agility too, so I know you can't pick up the ball. So is your goal just to fuck me up the entire game and make it so I can't play the rest of the season? And they were like, yep, that's how to job. And just kept punching motherfuckers, ruining my season, killing like my skinks and shit. Thank you, BS Machine, I appreciate that. It's pretty much the first game, man. It's pretty much the first game with new factions. I want to save some room. I want to save some room for like some rat ogres. So I'm going to have to fire somebody. Unemployment is about to go up in the Skaven Kingdom. Is there any place this can be attacked from down here? It doesn't look like... I think this faction is completely 100% dead down here. And I could just go through and reclaim this stuff if I wanted to. Like I'm pretty sure I could just go around here and claim all this shit, and nothing bad would happen aside from me spending a bunch of money. I'm pretty sure. Uh, probably not on Blood Bowl. I get too salty and angry. Blood Bowl just makes me fucking furious. Like, it's a game with strategy where strategy is pointless. Like, it really is an irritating game in that regard. Like, it takes XCOM randomness to a whole new level where it's just like if on the first turn, your, like, best guy gets killed with the first punch, it's just like, well, this season's over. Like, your entire season can end in one dice roll. And it's just such a frustrating game like that. But, like, I love it at the same time, you know what I mean? So it's just like, I don't know what to do with Blood Bowl anymore. I'm gonna put armies down here until these guys fuck off back to their dwarf corner where it stinks of beard. And hopefully we'll be okay. I'm hoping that they don't decide to run on us, because that would actually be a fairly costly war for us. Mystery meat. In a drive to improve combat stamina across your forces, the High Quartermaster has been experimenting with new ration combinations. His latest concoction is a bowel-addling patty of horse flesh, pickled fish, and forest spiders, served with toasted discs of sweetened bread. They haven't a clue what they're eating, but the troops can't get enough. Army replenishment is up. But due to frequent toilet stops, movement range is down. Fantastic. We're pooping ourselves into strategic... Logistical pooping! We're being defeated by logistical pooping. So I think he's just going to leave. So I'm going to head back down to the south and try to claim all these settlements. Maybe I should use the smaller army to do it. Smaller army, you do it. Yeah. Send them out to the place that has gold. And we'll just kind of see what happens. And you stay over here as a vanguard just in case this decides it wants to go sideways and fuck with our lives. How's our building going? How's building looking? We got one more turn until that's done. We can upgrade that as well. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Kind of running on a shoestring budget right now, but I feel like things are going okay. Don't you dare come out of that castle. You come out of that castle, we're going to have problems. So we ensure that we have a following building, an assassin's hideout, so we got 500 bucks for that. So good. 500 bucks for completing that. Facilities to begin technological research, my lord. It only remains for you to choose the direction of development. What's up with technology? I thought technology was just the units and shit that we were unlocking anyways. So it looks like the elves are a little bit ahead in their warpstone collection. Ooh, we have a warlord who's here, but he has bad loyalty. He's got okay loyalty. Dude, I kind of want a warlord. 
What do you guys think? Should I drop the Gracier for a Warlord? Ministry of Braggy. Thank you very much for those biddies. I appreciate that, man. Thank you for supporting me. Looks like people want the Warlord, man. Looks like people want the Warlord. Grump, how's your vape going for you, man? Is it helping you stop smoking? How's that going? He gets a Rat Ogre mount? Well, fuck the Gracier, then. This guy's name is Metastorm Stab. That's the dopest name ever. I'm gonna name my first kid Metastorm Stab. It's gonna be the best name ever. Recruit that bitch. Sent him over to here. And have him join up with this army. Yeah, you go join up with him real fast, and then we'll send him down. So there's a whole, let's see here, advisor, help pages, spell browser. You guys said it was on my top bar. Missions and quests, lords and heroes, provinces, known factions. Objectives, Skaven corruption, rights. Alright, Nietzsche, I'll see you later, man. No, I get what you mean, man. Quitting smoking's a motherfucker. Especially, like, I started smoking when I was, like, 14 or 15. And didn't really start trying to stop until I was, like, 30. And so 15 years is enough to where you really kind of develop that addiction. Where, like, cold turkey is not super an option. Like, it's an option, but it's gonna suck. You know what I mean? It's gonna suck hard. But you probably should, you know what I mean? I know, like, in five years, they're gonna be like, Oh, yeah, vaping's even worse. I'm gonna be like, Ah, oh, well, fuck! Damn it! I tried! Maybe I'll just have two warlords in this army. Would that satisfy the nerd castle? Oh, yeah, I can get red ogres now. Dude, you better get me a rat ogre. I am with the I'd like to get two rat ogres if I can. If I can drop out like some of these clan rats maybe, like get rid of this dude right here. Yeah, give him the boot. And then we'll get two things of rat ogres right there for a little bit of tactical diversity. And I think that'll be pretty cool. Okay, so I'll fire this warlord then. In order to disband this lord, all units within the army must be selected. Do I lose my army, though? No, I don't want to disband selection. I just want to fire this motherfucker. Maybe I'll take these guys and I'll send them over to them. It'll probably be fine. So where is this tech research people keep saying? It's got to have a button around here. Did this guy seriously start with 10 out of 10? Ooh, it's the sword and feather thing. Sword and feather thing. Sword and feather thing. Right here. Oh. Well, fuck. I should probably be working on this. We're working apparently on Ruthless Plans right now. Alright. What does Ruthless Plans do? Apparently we're researching it. Oh, I'm 30. Hitting that. I made it over the hill, man. I made it over the hill. Made it over the hill and 40's coming. Not that much different than 25, I'll be honest with you. I had some friends that had like nervous breakdowns when they turned 30. And for me it was just like another day. Like I turned 30 and I was like, alright. Just another part of my life. Instead of a quarter of the way through my life, I'm now, if I'm lucky, a third of the way through my life. Although... Vigil on expenditure must be maintained for your domain to prosper. Be sure to keep a close watch on your finances. 
lest ruin overtakes you. I arrive. Have slaves bow bow. Hold on. What's going on here? I gotta get a little closer. Oh, won't you stay? Progress and no chaos. Just a little bit longer. Repetator. So you guys go to him. See, like, why are... It used to be it would take these guys away from him, then you can move to the next person. And now it's not doing that. They've changed the way that this works, and it bothers me. Alright. Red mage. Legs, tails, move. There we go. Thank you. I would have never figured that out if you hadn't said it. Now I can fire this motherfucker. Get out of here. Ain't nobody wants your expense. You too expensive, goddammit. And now we have a real warlord. One who will lead us to ultimate Skaven victory. That's pretty much what everybody told me. Is like you're always gonna feel like you're 25 in your head, no matter how old you get. This episode of the Nerd Castle brought to you by Honey Nut Cheerios. I can't taste the nut, but I can taste the honey. Um nom 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 nom. I eat out of a box like a fucking savage, so just ignore this. Cheerios, what's up, dude? That's how you know I'm not gonna be salty today because I got my Cheerios. So we have harsh production quotas. Quofas. Alright, let's research our quofas. Yeah, I've seen people take the bag out and put milk in the bag and just eat it. One of your subordinates shows questionable devotion to your cause. That motherfucker. Consider taking steps to appease or otherwise deal with them. Oh, he's loyal again. Disloyalty cannot Wait, I thought he was at maximum Hester. loyalty. Oh, he's at five. I thought he was at like ten. That's weird. Nah, the bag holds it. It's just when you only got a little bit of cereal left. My cousin used to take like a big old Tupperware bowl and pour an entire thing of cereal out into it and then eat the entire thing of cereal out of it with milk. Ooh, we got rat ogres now. Rat ogres. I thought I told you I'm gonna own you because we some soldiers. We don't really have a whole lot of money right now, so like building is probably not an option even though it wants me to upgrade things. Yeah, for 4000 I could get myself to Storm Vermin, but they're going to be kind of expensive, and I don't know if you can afford that right now. This, on the other hand, generates more food. It still costs a lot, though. Hmm. I'm going to wait. I'm going to let the treasury get a little bit stronger first. This place has gold, so if I can take this over over here, maybe we'll make some money. Hey, what's up, Randy? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. How do I get loyalty back? Scurry forward. Okay. It's not really a whole lot of battles to be fought right now. I think I can use the underway probably to get there in the next go. And then we'll take this place. And then we'll go down and take something down here. Maybe we'll get into, like, a fight or something. Horned rat provides. What did Eurus say? I didn't see what Eurus said.
Make a quiz of it. I'll see you. Well, like, I want to win fights, but there's not really anybody to fight right now. Maybe I should have sent him north to fuck with the lizard men. That's a foreign asset? Who owns this? Hey, Nekno, thank you very much for that subscription. I appreciate that. Very kind of you, sir. Who owns this over here? Lizard men, I assume? Or are they orcs? It looks a little orcish. The orcs also have, like, a big-ass army that's kind of scary, though. And every time I've, like, beefed with, like, dwarves, it, like, never ends because of their grudge system. Master Commander. Can I get there faster with the underway? I cannot. I own a scurry move. You can fart the alphabet? It's like... F's probably difficult. Your armies can take to the seas, should you wish it, sire. Have them build boats upon the shore. I'm pretty sure he can just walk across that rocky spot right there. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. So, in exchange for troops, I can build a settlement here. I can treasure hunt. Let's treasure hunt. Deep within the ruins lies an abandoned Skaven burrow. Those damn donkeys. Everything inside is covered with a thin layer of warp dust. The floor is littered with bits of machinery, and a strange green glow lights a darkened corner. Just what have the perfidious rat spawn been doing here? But I'm perfidious rat spawn. Capital M. Well, thank you, Nekno. I appreciate that, man. Part of the problem is there's just no good games out right now, man. Like, it's hard to do, like, an indie preview channel when there's no good indie games coming out, you know what I mean? Like, you go through a couple of weeks where there'll be a ton of awesome games, and then you'll go through a couple of weeks where there's nothing. And, like, it just feels like you're shoveling shit onto the channel. Because you still gotta work, because you still got bills to pay and stuff, but it's like... I don't know. We can leave the machinery, we can sell the machinery back to the Skaven, we can melt down the machinery. Or we can study the machinery. I'm gonna let chat choose. What do you want to do with the machinery? I can't get a copy of Escape from Tarkov. I've requested a review copy of Escape from Tarkov from like 900 different places. And everybody's like, nah. I'm beginning to think I'm on a blacklist or something. Ooh, it looks like everybody wants to study it. Okay, we'll study it. What happened? Your experts are impressed by the Skaven's grasp of technology. This is groundbreaking stuff, revealing new manufacturing methods that could be used to your advantage. Our research rate is up by 25% for five turns. That's pretty good. That's not bad at all. That's, like, really good. And then I assume at some point, can I still, like, capture it? Oh, well, I can still capture it, too, but not till next turn. Okay, we'll do nothing then. He'll sit over here, and he'll be disloyal until I decide to murder him. I have lots of buildy things I can do right now, but I can't afford to do it. It kind of depends, Brolovsky. Like, a hundred of the little bits will usually do it. Like, if you space them out by one, it tends to go pretty well. I'm assuming I'm at war with the dwarves, right? Relations with foreign powers may be managed through diplomacy, my lord. Consider your situation carefully before accepting any agreement. Is that our strength versus their their attitude towards us is yes, as I assumed, quite salty. Talk at me in your crude language if you must. Oh. No promises as to the outcome. Apparently we're stronger than they are, which is kind of weird. Bring decay. Well, fuck these dwarfs then. March! Skavendom! We will destroy! Stab, stab, kill, kill, dwarfkin! 
I should probably save. I haven't saved like in a thousand years, and I'm sure the autosave has not been doing its due diligence. We shall call this Farty Face Butt Ultimate Save of the Nerd Castle. Farty Face Butt, it's the best save. I see you. Such an action would surely lead to war. As glorious as that is, proceed only if you desire conflict, my lord. We are Skaven. This is kind of what we do. Unleash Pupa. The enemy city is fortified, my lord. Weapons will be. Hey, Gorilla to Hun, thank you very much for the biddies. Prepare your warriors for a long siege. Damn, son, that's gonna take forever. But we're trying to take over Whack-A-Mole Crater, and I feel like we've earned it. I'm going to fall back for a minute until I know. So, hey, thank you for the subscription, Markram. Thank you very much. I want to see what this army is going to do. These are the dudes that I want to fight right here, and I want to kill their main army before I start conquering their stuff. Because I don't want them to come and siege break me. That's the part that I'm worried about, is I don't want to go in there and get like three turns into a siege and then lose a fight and lose all my progress. So I'm going to wait until their army decides it wants to be G till the day that it dies, which should be pretty soon. Should be pretty soon. There we go. Bring your punk ass down here. Oh, he's going to fortify the city. Okay. I can live with that. Enemy, mighty lord. Send your warriors out to slaughter the peasants and burn their villages. Make the enemy fear you. I'm going to go ahead and colonize this over here. Uh, technology is done, so that's really good. And we'll probably want to step in and see what other... We can set examples, which gives us more leadership. Sometimes you got to set an example. It is what it is. And then over here, what do we got at Chupayatl? So at Chupayatl... Oh, it's the capital! Yay. Well, that's good. I should probably build a port. That's probably a smart idea because it'll give me more money. So, yeah, let's build a port. And then I can take this up to level 2 if I want to. Will you stop talking so that I can see things? That'll give me income and warp stone. Let's do it. And then we'll kind of just hope that we don't get into any like major shitty fights for a little bit. Um, I'm going to put them in raid mode. Which I think will give me extra income. But that makes me winded in combat. I'm going to fall back to my border real fast. So that I can get reinforcements from Sabaton. Because my guess is that they're going to come after me over here. So these guys want a military alliance for right now. Who are they at war with? Itza. Itza pizza. So is Itza like lizard men? It's gotta be lizard men. I don't know if I can take that on right now. Like I'm trying to I'm trying to make sure. Maybe I'll take them as vassals. I'll accept it. Yeah. Hey, thank you for those bits, uh, Grump, and thank you for those bits, Arrow Bowman. Units in this army, my lord. They will be better placed to survive the glorious battles to come. Nah. Ready for duty. He's returned from his absence and is ready for duty. What? What are you talking about? I don't want that motherfucker. Maybe that just means he's ready for recruitment or something. Either way, I don't want him. As long as you're down here, you might as well recruit. But we've got gold coming from this place, which means we making the money. Gorilla to Hun, thank you very much for those biddies. I appreciate it. We've got a quest to get the altar of the horned rat. Yeah, I'll do that at some point, but it's like way over there, man. That's like hella far. I don't know if I have time for that business. I may bring this army back over here and get him into a position to defend. 
Just in case. Hey, E.G. Mitchell, thank you very much for those bits. I appreciate that, man. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much, sir. I don't know if they're going to come after me. I'll probably leave him right here to deal with Itza, just in case Itza decides to storm through right here. And the Ministry of Braggy, thank you as well. Uh, um, as soon as that's up, we'll build a gold mine over here so we can get some money. Money. Yeah. That's hella cheap, so upgrade the scavenge pile. Um. Probably just a rattling warrens is probably fine. I mean, unless there's something else that we really sincerely want over here, but we basically covered our grounds with all of our secondary locations. I mean, technically, I could get some garrisons over here. Magic Cat and Trickstar, thank you for the bitty bombs. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. Thank you very much. And I'm going to try and be less of a dick on the internet, too. Uh, Trickstar, thanks again, man. And also, Magic Cat, good lord. Got them biddies dropping left and right right now. I can't even keep up with it. Real Yoessa, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm going to try and keep the... I keep saying this, man. This is the conflict of my year right now. Where, like, I've said I'm going to stop being a dick on the internet. And so I'm trying to stop being a dick on the internet. Like, I'm trying really, really fucking hard. But I don't think that counts. Like, I think what counts is if you actually stop being a dick. What's up with you? What problem dost thou have? Does he have like a level up or something? Why is it saying I have a notification? What notification are they talking about? I don't see a notification. I, I feel like my, my comedy toes the line sometimes, you know what I mean? And so I'm trying to ease away from that. Hey, Grump Grandpa. Oh, it's because he hasn't moved. That's fine. I don't really give a shit about that. He's pretty much exactly where I want him to be, so... My eyes gone, but I see... Decay and die... I am the Lord. Spread no, the hashtag charity thing's over. I ended up raising like 70,000 or 80,000 biddies or something like that. Alright, Viver, I'll see you later. Thanks for coming to the stream and thanks for modding. I appreciate it. Everybody say thank you to a mod. We've had a lot of trolls lately, and beaver has been cleaning them out real good. Ah, we are rampant. Is Clan Spittle the one that I allied with? Ah, oh, fuck. Well, that's not good. No wonder they wanted to ally. They're busy getting their asses kicked. Can you recruit anything in one turn? Because if you can, I think that's a good idea. Anything you can recruit in one turn is okay with me. You've got shields, you've got spears. We don't have any slangas. There you go. Get you some slave slangas. Some slave angas. So as far as building goes, we can get Storm Vermin. Oh, thank you for those biddies. I appreciate that, Grump. And also Cray Cray. Thank you for those bits. Um, we can take that up to the next level, but that's expensive. But our replenishment rate will get really, really good. I don't really know what to build right there because there's no other buildings aside from the garrison that we can really throw in there to make this work better. I mean, we already have a garrison though, so that's not going to work either. Uh, Yoessa, I like indie games. I think indie games are the future of gaming. 
I think AAA has dropped the ball repeatedly over and over and over again and shows a reluctance and inability to change. And I think that indie allows developers to do things that actually matter and like revolutionize the industry and they never get credit for it until a AAA title steals the ideas that were developed in an indie game and takes credit for it. Probably some. I got a big ass army right here, so I can't really move this army. And I know after they get done over here, that leaves us at war with Itza. Let me see if I can get Itza back on our side here. Although I don't think we've ever met Itza. Um. Oh, I'm not at war with them. We'll never fucking mind. Okay. Apparently when they killed off those guys, we didn't inherit their war, so that's cool. I don't care. That's fantastic. That's exactly the sort of thing that I'm okay with. And then, of course, it's going to be upset because I didn't move my lord. My lord is just not moving. I'll move him over to here and see if I can bait this guy over. Come attack me, dwarfy! Come get some! War is declared. Ah, there it is. A rival power takes up arms against you. Crush them without mercy. I'm gonna. They're like power ranking 37 and I'm power rating number 6. They're gonna get their shit knocked off. I might even take some of their locations and eat some of their people. Maybe I can sue for peace with the dwarves, because I don't think the dwarves are really that interested in fighting with me right now. There we go. Hey! It's Black Reese Smalls, he gave a tip. Thank you, sir. Tip my hat to you. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, yes. let's... We'll take peace with the dwarves so that I can focus on uh, Itza. And then what we'll do is we'll start moving this army back over here because I don't think they're going to be able to go through dwarf territory without getting fucked up. So we'll start rallying some armies over here and we'll send one army that way, one army that way because that takes us towards the Altar of the Horned Rat, which is our storyline quest, which I think is probably something we should be working on. You guys move as far as you can, and if you can recruit in one turn, please... I would very much appreciate it if... So you've got shields, you've got shields, you've got spears, you've got swords. Uh, what you need is some rat ogre loving. Rat ogre loving, so gentle and so kind. I just want to stroke you. Rat ogre, you're so beautiful, girl. You're so beautiful now, girl. Ooh, thank you for that second tip, Blackery Smalls. Double, 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 dropping silver. Boom! There goes the cup. Boom go the cup when Blackery Smalls comes in. Uh, I think we've got everybody just about where I want them to be, and these guys are about to get their asses kicked. Ah, uh, E40. E40, man. King of the Bay since Mac Dre died. Ooh. If Mac Dre was still alive, I'd be like, maybe not, but Mac Dre did. Mac Dre's dead. I forgot I was going to wear my Mac Dre R.I.P. shirt today, and I didn't. They may perform rights to grant you considerable powers, albeit at a price. The Scheme of Doom! So we've got plus three leadership to all of our troops. Yay. So schemes are like over here, and we could do a Scheme of Doom! And that'll give us a, uh, that'll give us an engineer, I guess. I don't know. What does it cost me? 800 bucks. It's got a 30 turn cooldown. I don't think I need an engineer hero right now. Well, maybe I do. Is a, is a hero one of your agents? Is that what that is from the other games? They're called agents in Rome Total War. Is that what he is? He's an agent? He's a suicide agent? What does he do? He just runs in and like blows up an army and weakens them? Oh, okay. Well, that's... I wanted a hero that would, like, level up and, like, duel people and murder them in honorable single Skaven combat. So, we've got murder dissenters. I think our public order is good. Let me look real fast. I think our public order is solid right now, so I don't think we need any more public order. Instead, 
We have Know Your Place, which raises that. Carve Under Tunnels. Let's get the 10% movement, man. We need a 10% movement bad. 10% movement sounds fucking fantastic, and I'll take it. Um, Kitty, you can't be released right now. You're trapped. Sweet Polly Plunkett, lay on the grass. Tenderize heavenward sighing. What is this? Oh, they want me to build stuff. Okay. How do I skip a notification? Do I right click it? Oh, you skip it. There it is. Found it. I found it. Heaven's Devil, what's up, man? Hustle chose me, dude. You can't help when the hustle come knocking. The hustle's like Santa Claus. It's coming down the chimney one way or another. So you can put some motherfucking cookies out. Or you can get coal. It's up to you, though. Nova, what's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. Damn, Ryan's a good kid. When I was that ass, I was like, family laws are meant to be broken. Hey. <laughs> Heaven's Devil, hey, how's it going? How is it going? Dude, I'm gonna fuck these cats up. I can't wait. I'm gonna fuck these cats up so hard. Did you guys just get in a fucking boat? Oh, you sons of bitches. I know what they're doing. You little rat fuckers. He's like, that's exactly what we're trying to do. Can I use the under tunnels? No. Uh, you guys better march. And you better march fast. Oh, well, welcome, Wyman. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, you guys better get over there, man. They're trying to pull some shit over on this side. They're trying to snipe my harbor over here. Sweet Polly Plunkett, lay on the grass. Um, I should probably build a garrison of some kind. Hmm, ooh, a gold mining pit. I'm not gonna build anything over here because if they raise it, it's gonna be wasted money. So I'm just gonna wait until that's done. And then... That's what I mean. I called them rat fuckers because that's exactly what they're trying to do right now. Pelico, thank you for those biddies. Hermit, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Welcome on in. Let's see if maybe I can scare them away from that tactic by moving a big-ass army into their territory. It looks like they got a little army and they got a big army. These dudes are about to have a bad day. These dudes are about to have a hell of a bad day. So you had a bad day. Rats ate your face. That's what you get for being up in my place. I don't really have the money for a lot of these upgrades right now, so... I don't think I'm going to spend money on anything right now because if I do, they might just burn the city down anyways. Let's see what they decide they want to do. Y'all better march, and y'all better march quick. Get into the city. We're going to be winded when we start the next battle, but uh, we'll corner camp and see if I can get people to feel better. Cactus Jack, what's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Yep. Hey, buddy. I noticed you took your army out of your lands. Your shit is now my shit. Leave I need money, so I'm gonna sack it. <laughs> My power strength grows. Maybe he'll spawn some rebels or something. Oh, I thought sacking burned the city down. Okay. Well, that was probably a bad call. I'll just go through and I'm gonna go into raiding stance. Ooh, go into ambush stance. Yeah, that's good. Prepare, unleash boxes. The other trickster's shard.
Looks like it lowers their magic resistance, maybe. It's a ward hex. Can I give it to him so that he stops being a salty little bastard and trying to betray me? There. You get that, and maybe you'll be more loyal because I gave you treasure. And we've got a level up right there from fucking the city up. Uh, I'm just going to take the final pack leader rank. Might as well focus and finish it off. And so they want me to build. I actually made a little bit of money, so I can probably get away with upgrading something down here. Go ahead and upgrade that right there. And then that'll be all we can do for right now. We've got a new right, the 13th scheme. What does the 13th scheme do? So the 13th scheme, diplomatic relations go up with all Skaven. On turn, lords have a chance to gain loyalty, enemy heroes. So it's basically like we pay a bunch of money and everybody loves us again. So basically we like bribe the world. We're like, gold, beautiful gold. Little rat folks love me. And they're like, okay. And they love us. Gold, beautiful gold. Ah. Uh, we've got a chance of spotting nearby foreign armies. Okay, and an elf thing slave. Ooh, weapon strength goes up. And income from all regions. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. God damn. That's a pretty good follower right there. Is he already on me? Yay, an elf thing slave. I don't think you want to do this, brother. None shall the enemy stand have encircled your city, my lord. Send a force to aid the city defenders before they are starved into submission. Oh, we have a force. Dude, look at all these skinks. Dude, you're about to get annihilated. You out of your minds. Hey, Blackery Smalls, thank you very much for that uh, tip. Tip of my hat to you, sir. I appreciate it. Um... Stink of command. Storm vermin, attend me, me. He does have a lot of veterans, though. That's the only part that worries me, but I think we'll be all right. Yeah, go ahead and save, just in case. The thing is, that's like an entire ranged army. Like, I'm not really sure what I think about this. I'm definitely not sure how I feel about this entire ranged army. We've got allies coming from... Dude, if we can ambush them from the forest. Oh, but they're going to try and do the same thing to me, I bet. Let me have... Clan Rat Spears. Up front. Clan Rat Swords. To a flank. One in reserve. Um, they're done. Spears. We want shields in the front because... God knows, this is about to get messy. This is about to get real messy. Uh, Slangas. Swords. To this flank. And... Slingers to the front. You to the center contingency. You guys way off to the side, because I got plans for you. And these poor bastards over here. We kind of got to hope that the enemy doesn't try to do something crafty. Yeah. 
You may use the hills, valleys, and stranger formations of this place to your advantage, Commander. The terrain can conceal your forces. So there is our support army right there, but they're not all on the field just yet. It looks like they're coming after our our front force, which means we should have a really good opportunity for a pincer attack over here. I don't know that they know that this army is even here. I don't think they do. They don't know that this army is here. Alright, you guys walk it in. Nice and slow. You got plenty of time. I've still got things that I'm going to attempt up here too. These guys should have a pretty good range advantage because they're up a hill. And that should deprive the enemy of some of their javelin range too. We've also got the opportunity to get some menace below. I should have stocked up on more of that. That was stupid of me. I started the battle without uh, looking at it, which was a mistake. And actually, you guys do this at double time. Just get there. Hey, thank you very much for that subscription, Lunas Blood Moon. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. So arrows are out. Uh, skirmishers are fighting. That's good. And we should start to see a little bit of damage over here. And indeed we are. Bar's starting to move a little bit. I'm going to let them come to me. I'm not going to try to rush this in too hard. Because uh, these guys are going to fall back. May be used to conceal your movements, Commander. Close with the enemy under cover of the trees to retain the element of surprise. Hey, what's up, Pimpins? You know, it's one of those things where it's a chronic illness, so it flares up and it goes away. And, you know, it's kind of just... It's kind of just learning to deal with something that is going to be a long-term problem, you know? Like, it's is what it is. I'm going to play the game on slow for right now because this battle actually matters. And this is essentially the battle that's going to break the enemy's spine. And so that's what I'm trying to do with it right now. Uh, our skirmishers should fall back to our main lines. But their skirmishers are going to fall back too, which kind of puts us in a weird spot. Um, so they're coming in right here. I'm going to go ahead and let my armies do their thing. Rat Ogres are actually kind of far. I don't like that. Bring them up. We're going to encircle a little bit and see what we can do here. Rat Ogres hit that flank right there. And see, I'm a little concerned we're just going to get skirmished to death because his entire armor is... His entire army is skirmishers. And so I may just take the damage for right now to get these dudes into position right here. And then, once they're in position right there, boom, like so, essentially. I think that'll be all right. Hey, what's up, Curious? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, because these guys are going to try and kite us nonstop. And so when they're trying to kite us, I need to, get them, I need to get them pinched in between two groups so that they can't kite like that anymore. Otherwise, it becomes a problem for us. Rad Ogres are exposed, and yeah, they're definitely trying to kite us down right now, which is not good. Uh, you guys. Join the fray right there. They're kind of tripping over each other right now. So let's send a few units to the back line here just to kind of scare them a little bit. Uh, everybody join in on this fight right here if you can. These guys are in position to make the push. Push it. Push it real good. Our other army is coming into position right now. And so we got a little bit of... They're not elves. They're just speedy little lizard men. Speedy, problematic little lizard men. Is my warlord even in this fight? Warlord, get in there. Why are you not in this fight right now? I need you. There you go. Put pressure on him. Put pressure on him. Madak, 
Let's go ahead and ruin their lives right here. You guys split off to here and help out with this back flank. And who do I have left over here? I got you guys just fucking sitting around. You guys jump in on that fight right there. This is going to be kind of a weird battle because his entire army is ranged skirmisher units. And so this is going to be really, really odd. It's going to be a weird fight, believe me. Basically, it's going to be like herding sheep. So they're all fighting the Lord over there. What are you guys? Oh, Red Ogres. Yeah, Red Ogres, go get them. Hey, what's up, Lissa? Heck it. Uh, thank you for the biddies. Captain Frosty, thank you for the biddies as well. I have trouble focusing during fights, dude. I hate skirmisher armies. It's just those kiting tactics are fucking annoying. Goddamn Tau tactics. There you go. Go get him, champs. Go get him. Hey, we broke the line. Good. So those guys are falling back. Go ahead and start working on the next ones. Uh, we got people fleeing combat right now, but I'm sure it'll be okay. You guys finish them off. And then we'll sweep everybody down the hill and do what we gotta do. It's kind of hard to grab individual units that you want. I'm gonna stop rubber band boxing from now on. It seems to be a bad plan, and it doesn't seem to be working out for me very well. Kind of wish I had kept some of my little dudes over here. Go ahead and chase them down real fast, because those guys are kiting you anyways. No, go after them, man. Finish them off. Rat ogres are getting whittled, so bring them back around. Those guys are running. Go help out over here. Shoot them in the booty holes. Yeah, I need you guys to, like, turn back around and maintain an actual rank, please. Everybody form back up. There we go. That'll work better. These guys are fighting over here, and they're pretty much completely consumed. Hit them on their flank, please. I knew this fight was going to be chaotic, and this fight was going to be a pain in the ass from the beginning because he brought 100% skirmishers in his army. Oh, thank you very much for letting that roll over, Spectre Grimm. I appreciate that, man. Very kind of you. Uh, you just got your three-month ticket, man. You got your blue You got your blue name, bro. Spears. 
So you guys turn. As soon as their leader goes down, this thing should be over. And then as soon as you turn, get in there. Yep. Go get them. Go get them, champs. Break off a couple of these dudes over here. Probably should have waited to use some of my, uh... There we go. Just gotta redistribute a little bit of violence over here. Slingers are still slinging over here, which is great. Yeah, push through them and fight the guys at the back of you, please. Actually, all these armies just routed from their warlord. Uh, send my warlord in. Your job is to go fuck with that guy. Now, where the fuck is my warlord? Dude! Oh, he ran off the entire field trying to chase somebody. I don't know if there's naval combat rancor. Curse Void, thank you very much for those bits. See, last I checked, their lord was like routing and not looking so great. And now all of a sudden he's like perfectly fine. So uh, we'll have to wait for this to happen right here. Then we'll send that over to reinforce on this side. Hey, Saka, thank you very much for uh, those Risa. Or I'm sorry, that's a new sub. Thank you for that sub. I appreciate that. Although he's reinforcing again with shattered troops. So it is what it is, man. It is what it is. I got swordsmen up here. I suppose my best option is to pull them in as like a reserve force and see if we can help out over here. They'll rally in just a minute and they'll be fine. Uh, my lord is probably exhausted, which is why it's taking him so goddamn long to get over here. I'm going to try and push them this direction real fast. Fucking skinks, dude. Archer, thank you very much for that sub. I appreciate that, sir. Good. You guys, no, do not follow that that direction. Your job is to go down here and fucks with these cats. And as soon as they are dealt with which should be like right now. We'll go ahead and they're routed, so we'll start fucking with these skinks over here. And what I want is a strong push in this direction right here. So my lord should be in here. Fucking kids up a little bit. There we go, that's what I like to see. Throw those lizards through the air. You motherfucker, you better get back over here. Stop tracing troops out to the middle of nowhere, dude. There we go. Kill their lord. Nice. Yup, get that fool wiped out. Get that fool wiped out. Get him. That's 
fine. I should have saved my, uh... There it is. God. That was way more effort than it should have been. I hate skirmisher armies, dude. Skirmisher armies are the worst. Like, damn, dude. Oh, you can put them on guard mode? Okay. I didn't even... I'm not a big Total War player. I'm just playing this because I like Warhammer. And so I don't know about all these little tactics and whatnot. You know what I mean? <laughs> Great victory! Tell, tell the clans! Uh, let's go ahead and... We are going to eat these dudes. Because we need replenishment, maybe. They fetch many warp tokens. So there it is. We'll consume that army. My suggestion would be to chase that army down and fuck it up now before it starts to do. We got a terrifying mask of E. I like the terrifying mask of E. Cuz it's a fun noise to make. I don't want to be negative right now, but you guys aren't doing super well in this fight, man. Uh, if I don't want to fight him again, though. That's my problem, is I don't want to fight him again. Like, I was hoping it would be auto-resolved higher, so I could just auto-resolve it real fast. Fuck. Did it auto-save when I came out of that fight? Then was it 2.38 p.m.? That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right at all. There we go. So 5.48. That was 12 minutes ago. I think I quick save before I fought then. Shit. Alright, fall back to the town. It's fine. It's not that far. Just go back over there. You'll be good. Replenish for a minute. And then also, he can't get new units. So you just sit there... He's got to level up too. Hey, what's up, Axiom? Now we're fighting with lizard men right now. Lizard men, dwarves, and that's pretty much it. We're on the opposite side of the map. If we were on the other side of the map, we'd be fighting elves. We got dwarves and lizard men on this island. I'm gonna make this guy a brawler. I just want him to fuck shit up hella hard. This dude's gonna be like Throwdown Crew, spelled with K R U. Mm. It's expensive, but you gotta do what you gotta do, man. He should oh, not be God. able to replenish here. Like, he's just gonna sit there and be sicker and sicker. He might try to hit us. I don't know. The AI can be kind of dumb sometimes. We'll see what happens. I think it automatically gives him the Mask of E if he doesn't have an artifact on him already, and he doesn't, so. Ah, that's his game. Well, I'm gonna head him off then. I need that army to go away so that I can just easily sack his entire territory. Uh, we got cave under tunnels done, so that's good. New technology. That'll give us 10% movement range so that we can outrun our enemies. Murder dissenters. We don't really need that. Loyalty would be nice, though, so... It's not useful now, but it'll be useful later. We need an assassin's hideout for devious plans. Okay. Go with the public order. That's better long-term bonus anyways. Onward, it is 
diseased brethren. I guess he doesn't get movement this turn. I don't think. There we go. We'll try to pinch him on this side. All right, Ryan, I'll see you later, man. Thanks for coming to the stream. All right, I'll check it real fast. I don't see the Mask of E anywhere, actually. Uh, other trick to shard. He has basic armor on. I thought it was a talisman, maybe? Maybe it's a banner. I don't know. Did it put it on this guy? I don't think it would, but... Uh, yeah, so my armies, I've got some Skaven Spears, got Skaven Swords, uh, Spears and Swords without Shields, Slingers, I've got some Rat Ogres, and I've got more uh, Spears coming in, or Swords or something. And then on this side, he should be taking attrition as he's trying to leave. I was going to say, he should be losing health uh, because he's in enemy territory right now. Getting wiped out in enemy territory is never a good thing in Total War. Uh, food basically means that you're you get a bunch of passive bonuses to your entire society and then on top of that you can also trade in food for bonuses at the beginning of combat to like spawn units in weird spots on the battlefield to fuck with your enemy which is actually pretty solid if you're trying to fuck around with the lizard man because they like to kite you around and so sometimes you got to spawn something in front of them just to ruin their lives I don't know where the Mask of E is at. Oh, he has it. Causes fear. He has the Pipes of Piebald, which puts a hex on the enemy. I'm gonna give that to him. The E seems better. Yeah, Skaven don't have cavalry. We don't really have a whole lot of cash right now, but since we actually fended that off, uh, my suggestion would be that we get the gold mine, because that would help out a lot. We don't have a whole lot of cash right now, and a gold mine would definitely be a nice thing to fucking have. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Real Yoessa. Thank you very much for those bits. I appreciate that, man. Hey, buddy. How are you? Oh, he saw me. Hey, how's it going, man? Skaven are naturally concealed. <laughs> you saw that shit. He was like, "Oh, fuck!" To the ocean. Winds of magic blow across the land, my lord. Those who can harness it gain access to formidable power. Um. Their wealth is legendary, and they ask that some of your troops take part in their experiments. Hey, what's up, Milk? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Welcome on in. I get plus one loyalty with Mail Metastorm Stab, which I kind of need, but his army's going to take attrition, which is not a good look. Clan Mulder sent rats to whisper at you again. Their experiments were failures, but if you could offer just a few more rats. Good lord. It's a Skaven-y thing to do. It's totally something that Skaven would fucking do, is they would totally hand off guys on their own sides for, like, a new rifle. They would totally do that 100%, so I'm going to play it RP style. I need to go on stalking mode. Hey, buddy. How are you? Yeah, how's it going? Bye-bye. 
Uh, let's go ahead and we'll do replenishment real fast. And so there it is. We got the Lich Bone Pendant, which gives us magic resistance to the assigned unit. Hey, Elf Hunter, how's it go? I like your name. I like your name a lot. And he leveled up, which is even better. Good. More, more than vermin tide, vile tide arises. All right, so now I gotta decide what I want to do up here with him. Uh, Wither's pretty good. I like Wither. Wither makes people fall apart. It's a pretty solid ability. Bless with filth. Root Marcher might be helpful, too. We got some new stuff up here, though, too. We have Warpstone Tokens, which is pretty good, actually, because that gives you a Winds of Power Reserve so that you can cast a little bit more. We've also got Sneaky, and we've got Trixie. Although I think Warpstone is good because he is a caster, and we're going to start giving him spells pretty soon. And so having the extra mana would be nice. All right. Back into the enemy's territory to take their stuff. Don't have the cash for those right now, so we're going to have to leave those alone. Scavenge pit we can afford. Lots of dead lizards. Thousands of dead lizards, dude. We just wiped out a max stack army. And the leader that went in front of it who was leveled up. So this faction's hurting right now. They're not feeling super healthy at the moment. They're, they're feeling a little bit... They're feeling a little bit under the weather. Fun Punchy, thank you very much. I shall go forth and fuck shit up. I will, or Florida State University. I will Florida State University the fuck out of this shit. Yay, he's loyal again. He should be loyal all by himself, fucker. Stop being disloyal, you little bastard. I think I'm going to send him up to the north, too, so he can get some in combat and get himself all nice and tooled back up. Your city's mine. Trinkets for tribute. Uh, yeah, go ahead and occupy it. Occupado. So we've got a Lux Stone, which gives physical resistance. That would be a really good item for this dude down here. The city are damaged, my lord. Repair them to gain the full benefit that they can provide. And a Clan Scryer Saboteur. That's pretty good, too. God, all these are good. I like all these abilities. These abilities ma -ma 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 make me happy. Uh, you take the... I wanted you to have the thingy. The Lux Stone. There we go. Uh, he's a melee fighter, so plus 10 to his resistance is a good idea. Make him nice and resilient so that he can just walk over enemies and fuck them up hella hard. Uh, this place is going to have a little bit messed up public security for a while. It looks like it's already got a rubbish pit inside of it. I guess just go ahead and repair it. I don't know. Got a little bit more cash, so we can do something down here. Let's go ahead, and I'm going to take you go away, and I will take the nest layer right there. So the nest layer is up, but our finances are not super good. Our finances could be better. He also leveled up from sacking the city, so we'll take Wither next, because Wither is quite good. Uh, Wither is really good. You put that shit on the enemy, like, right in the middle of their, like, center line... They're going to have a rough time standing up to it. They're not going to have a good day. They're going to have a really bad day. Oh, my hair. It's like long in the middle right now. I smell lizard spawn. Five disgusting lizards. No, no. Yeah, 
These guys want a peace treaty in exchange for 2100 stuff. But, like, I could take your entire territory, and that would be worth way more than 2100 So, um, fuck are you? The war continues! The March of War! Here you can see our fighting rat boys out here in the middle of the enemy territory. Go get them, lads. The High Warlord has pledged 5,000 more troops to rebolster the center line and make sure the trenches are full of patriotism. And somebody got the strict trait. Cool. Me. Just keep on going, man. I say they move. You'll make it to the north someday. Someday you'll make it to the north. It north will be crack. red and you will have so much fun. And then I'm going to go fuck this army up real fast before they become a problem to me. A couple more turns of recruitment and they might be... Oh, my rat ogres are hella veterans. Aw, oh, yeah. Uh, technology. I think we're almost done with that. I don't think we have to worry about that for right now. I don't really have the money to build anything at the moment, so I'm just going to give that a nice little rest there for a minute. Ah, the day I turned 18, I got my first tattoo. My mom was pretty mad because I was still living at their house. She saw it when we were having dinner, and she, like, lost her shit. <laughs> it's this, uh, it's this one right here. I got the white tree of Gondor right there, and it's just the worst tattoo ever. I'm actually, I'm waiting to, uh, get a cover-up done. Clan Pestilence. Hey, buddy. Knock, knock. Plague monks, fight, fight. He has Pterodon Riders. What the fuck is a Pterodon Rider? That's not good. I got a Lichbone Pendant, though. Put it on those cats. It's just a bad tattoo. That's all. Like, I like the design and everything, but it's like a bad tattoo. S14, you will. Uh, they're going to patch it after release. And that's going to put everything back. You know, I really feel like we should win this fight. I, I really kind of feel like this fight should be winnable. Then again, I don't have any siege equipment, so maybe that's the problem. Let's get some battering rams and some siege towers going. And then we will continue the siege. Stink of command. I order scurry move. Oh yeah, that's my territory now. I was trying to avoid losing replenishment, but that's still my area. Almighty Rhinus, thank you very much for those biddies, sir. I appreciate that. Very helpful. Um. We have not a lot to do right now. I think the best upgrade we could possibly do is probably to make sure the mine is a lot better. Like, if we can keep the mine nice and profitable... It'll make us wealthy over the long term. But yeah, they have no armies coming. And I don't think they can recruit when you're uh, sieging them. So we should be able to just wait them out and not fight a fight right there. Not let my lack of eyes fool you. I can see, see your soul and it is awake. We can help. We much bigger and smarter than you. I don't think you are, man. Can you see the same strength rate that... Can you see the same thing? Yeah, I'll take it. I mean, I'm going to counter-offer. you got to pay me first, though. Um. Oh, they'll accept 1,200? We'll just keep that going, then.
They counter offered me 600. No, pay me more money. There we go, that's better. Because the game seems to think that they've got like dinosaur riders and apparently that's a threat to us. So as concerning as that is, here you guys spend the turn in town so you replenish faster. And if you can grab one unit while we wait, I'd be okay with that. You can't grab, okay. I love grabbing units while I wait, but apparently my troops do not. Um, just go with the main building, I guess. We're kind of broke, but it'll have to do. Over here, we could make that, but we'll kind of be right on the edge if anything goes wrong, and I don't really like the feeling of that. Fuck it. Let's play this thing. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let, let's wear our let's wear our balls on our let's wear our balls on our jacket right now for a little bit. Our food supply is fucking fantastic at the moment. I'm really happy with that. I actually feel like the Skaven are a really good first army for new players to Total War. Because their mechanics are not hard to like figure out or work around. Like orcs, not a great first army. Because like you've really the orcs have like the perfect tempo of attacking versus defending. Like you have to know when to wait and when to wog with the orcs. And it can be kind of subjective. And so like the orcs can be a little tough. The dwarves can force you into wars you don't want to be in based on previous grudges. Chaos is just like, what the fuck do you even do with chaos? Because they don't even have cities. Like, chaos is, I'm not good at chaos. That whole nomadic thing just does not work for me. I do like the undead. The undead are a good early player army, I think, too. The von Karsteins and whatnot are pretty strong. Their corruption mechanic can be kind of fucking annoying, but, I mean, I like them. All right, man. I'll see you later. Take care, Pickle House. Uh, you go get a rest in. So are these guys starved out yet? How goeth the siege? Yeah. Fuck it. I'm just going to starve them out. I'm not going to fight a battle that seems somewhat dubious. Like, I think I can take them, but for some reason the game doesn't think I can take them. And that makes me feel a little odd about this situation. Oh, wow, Robo. I usually try to get at least, like, four hours in. This dude wants a peace treaty. <laughs> <laughs> like, you are, like, over a stump right now. Like, the lizards are in the middle of a brutal stump fucking, and yet they want to convince me that I should show them mercy. I don't think that mercy is a strong point of the Skaven. How do you all feel? Are you feeling bloodthirsty? Should we kill them, or should we show them mercy? Hey, Kawaii Kami, thank you very much uh, for that subscription. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Eat their children. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. You guys are the best. Fuck your peace! Hey, Anthonizer, thank you very much for that. Enrolled in your service, my lord. Be sure to put them to work. Their unique skills may solve problems that no amount of money or effort would otherwise be able to crack. Who are you? Uh, ape shit the assassin? Alright, apparently we've got ape shit the assassin. Ape shit the contagious. <laughs> oh, ape shit the contagious. Nice. Thief in the village. 
That's what they need is they need Warhammer 40k Grimdark Penguins. Penguins with bolters. Like da 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 I'd play a penguin race. I'd do it in a heartbeat. I don't care that it would ruin 40k. A penguin race would be the shit. Hey, US. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Welcome on in. Silent killer. Yes, yes. I like this city. This city looks sexy to me. I think I'm going to take it. Attend me, me. I might bring ape shit over here to like stab this dude in the neck real fast. I know that shit made me hella mad too when they put in Pandora and I was like, what the fuck is this? Come on. You gotta be kidding me. If they were vassals of the Tau, then they deserve to die like all the rest of the filthy Xenos. Uh, there it is. We got Know Your Place. I don't think there's any more technology we can do right now uh, without getting myself either a clan armory or an assassin's hideout. Do I have the ability to do that? So over here, how do I get a clan hideout? That's a clan armory. I should probably work up to that then. I think a clan hideout is the hider. A stronghold? No, that's not it. I'm going to use this to find what I want. A Den of Secrets, the Assassin's Hideout. So it's right there. I would need to take my Assassin guys up. I think I have an Assassin Reese somewhere. Hey, thank you very much, S14. I appreciate that, man. It's very kind of you. Thank you for uh, throwing some biddies my way. I appreciate that. I know I have an Assassin's Den around here somewhere. There it is. No, that's a Clan Armory. Fuck. Where's my Assassin's Den? Don't I have an Assassin's Den somewhere? I thought I already... I would swear to God that I have an Assassin's Den around here somewhere, but I don't see it. Did I just never build one? I guess I just never built one. Well, that's a shame. Fastest move, then, is the armory, then. I should get the armory back up to where it needs to be. Hey, what's up, Velas? How's it going, man? Welcome back to the stream. Uh, we have these guys by the balls right now. So... Targets. Not really gonna stress too much about, like, uh... This war is essentially over. Who the fuck are these cats over here? Who are you guys? Clan Scryer. Okay, they're on our side for now. I mean, they're not on our side, but at least they're Skaven like us, so we know what to expect. You know what I mean? Treachery. Hey, what's up, KDX? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Uh, Techno, I'll see you next time, man. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for the kind words, too. I needed it today. Thank you very much. Uh, biggest donation that I've ever gotten was 2500 It was back, like, last November. I think. I don't know what to do when people donate that much money. Like, I feel like there should be, like, a thing that I can say. But it's, like, dollars. Like, $2,500. Unreasonable weather. Casualty replenishment rate is way down, but recruitment cost is way up. Who the fuck is this dude? Oh, he's on my team. Yay, he's raiding. That'll be mildly annoying once I take this place over, but it's not so bad for now. So, ape shit, you want to stab somebody? Oh, he can't stab somebody in a siege? Oh, man. Well, now what's ape shit supposed to do? Many, many kills today. Damn it. I wanted ape shit to do fun stuff. Yeah, it was a big donation. Like, I don't even know... Like, what to say to that kind of donation, you know what I mean? Like, your brain doesn't know how to process it. It was very, very generous, though. 
like beyond the realm of generous. I think that goes well past generous. Mm, we're gonna have rebellions here pretty soon. Although I think a lot of the public order problems has to do with the fact that we just conquered it. Oh, because we haven't completely conquered it. That's our problem. Okay, well, I'll deal with, like, uh, rebellions over here when it becomes necessary. Poison but for right now, it doesn't really matter. We'll just wait these dudes out. Alright, Star Destroyer. I'll see you later, man. Thanks for coming to the stream. Each bit is one cent, yes. Fuck it, let's conquer this thing. Well, I'm glad you like them, Pancake. YouTube's in a weird spot right now with Let's Plays. I think Let's Plays are going to go back to being a hobby, that full cycle. I think basically what's going to happen is like... They blew up in popularity, so it became a job, and now I think that's, like, moving back downwards in favor of more specialized content. So, you know, it's what happens sometimes. Well, that's okay, though. We don't do what we do for the paycheck. We do what we do because we like indie games. God damn, dude, that's a big army. You know what? I'm just going to leave them where they're at. We will adapt to whatever the enemy decides to do. I doubt they're going to be able to do much. So, uh, this should be pretty easy. Do I have to march on them? For best effect, Commander. Formations may be useful when maneuvering before the enemy. I think they want me to march on them. So let me get everybody into, like, a, a unified formation here. So I'll put you guys right there. And then tap it over ever so slightly. Uh, please don't double speed. There is no reason to double speed. What? Why did that happen? That was weird. You guys go over there. Don't double speed it, though. They're going to make me come to him. Hey, U.S. Army soldier. Thank you very much for that bitty bomb, dude. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. That's my terrible Elvis impression. I mean, I'll probably just have blocks of troops. There's a question to be raised if I actually need to even do this, but... Slangas out front. And then scooch, scooch, scooch. There you go. I mean, honestly, I kind of want to do a front heavy charge with like all my rat ogres in here. So I'm going to put the rat ogres over there. And then who else has not been relocated? Who else is down here that has not moved at all? I can't see through the trees. So they got two groups of spearmen that have not been moved around. Um. It doesn't matter, man. Be wherever the fuck you want to be. Strategy doesn't matter in this fight. Wait for everybody to rearrange themselves. Alright, so once everybody's in position... We'll start moving forward slowly. Apricot, I'll see you later, man. Thank you for the uh, kind words and the reinforcement and everything. You guys have been really rad today, and I appreciate it. Um, you guys finishing up? You guys want to get in position? You want to get in position? You want to get in position? All right. Cool. Everybody's in position. Let's move forward and accomplish our mission. We're here for blood. We are not here for fishing. Can you guys stop running, please? Just walk it out, man. I don't want you guys to be tired by the time we get there. Alright, so center column. March. Actually, go right there. And why are you guys... Just, just chill. You don't need to charge. 
You don't need to charge, it's fine. This bottleneck is a bitch, dude. I hate this thing. I want to fight these guys on the realsies, and they just won't let it happen. There you go, throw rocks at them. How are you guys already routing, man? Goddamn Skaven slaves, dude. Alright, whatever. Just march forward, man. Just march forward. Go, my warlord! Charge their central front! Yeah, do that thing right there! Go and fight them! Go and fight them! Go and fight them! Everyone fights! Everyone kills! Fight! Win! Prevail! Where are my rat ogres at? I feel bad. They got left out. Well, you guys are, like, duking it out over there. Let's go ahead and get, like, a second column ready to go. God, that bottleneck sucks. I hate it. This bottleneck is the fucking worst. What's up, cowards? You want to get back in the fight? You know what, gents? Fuck it. Get in there. Everybody deserves the right to fuck up some bad guys today. Let's do... I mean, we're the bad guys, but you get what I mean. Chameleon Skinks. How's my lord doing? Is he trashing some shit? Fucking things up? Hey, M for Madness. I'll see you later, man. Thanks for coming to the stream. Huh? Oh. All of it? Uh oh. Cool. My poor rat ogres can't even get there. Look at them, they're just stuck in traffic on the 80, man. Just fucking stuck in traffic. What do you even do about this? routing over here? What the fuck? You better not be. You better fucking not be. There you go. Fuck those dudes up. Turn that flank. There you go. Push your way forward, Lord. Go do your job. Go fuck some dudes up. Make it happen, Cap'n. Hello, wife. Looks like I owe you dinner or something, man. Oh. Yeah, game's not quite out yet. Game's still uh, being released. Take the charge. And you guys, please turn right here and go take them from that side. Dude, are those like Velociraptors? What the fuck? Ah! 
They hurt. Oh my god, they hurt so much. Rat ogres, work your way over there once you get out of this ridiculous traffic. There we go. That's what I like to see. Got some ogre on Velociraptor action. There you go, ogres. That guy got trashed, dude. That guy got took out. That dude had a terrible day. That dude caught paws. He caught them mitts, though. He didn't want to say anything after that shit happened. He was like, well, damn. Sometimes you got something to say. Sometimes you don't. All right, gents. Turn this thing back around and attack over here. Yup. Crush, crush, crush. We win the battle. Crush, crush, crush. Kill them all like cattle. We're gonna have stakes. It's gonna be great. Uh, close victory. What are you talking about? Close victory. That was an ass whooping. Close victory. I mean, to be fair, they did better than I thought they were gonna do, given the severely limited amount of troops they had, but apparently theirs were all like hella hardcore shock troops. I think I'd like this city. I think I'll have it. What's going on over here, though? How's this uh, siege going? Oh, that's from my classic games. That TV has a coaxial cable on the back of it. And AV cables. And S-video cables and shit. And so, that's the one that I play like Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis on. Hey, uh, Lazen, I don't know if that's an I or an L. Either way, game, thank you very much for that bitty bomb, dude. I appreciate that. That's very, very kind of you. Uh, thank you, sir. Let me go take a piss break real fast, and I'll be right back, okay, guys? Sorry about that, everybody. Yeah, you know, the chair gets it in his system sometimes, and he just gets hella mad. You know what I mean? I told him not to get so salty about stuff, but he don't listen to me. That place is probably going to rebel. Luckily, I've got a backup army, so it shouldn't be that bad. Uh, are you leveled up? Yeah, you got levels, son. You got levels, bro. So we got Ruin and Decay. So strength against Lizardmen, weapon strength 2%, weapon strength against Dwarves. We are going to have to deal with Dwarves at some point. I'm going to raise his Blade Master, though, so that he fucks shit up a little bit harder. I did. I did wash my hands. With what? You'll never know. So that unit's not going to replenish because... There's bad weather right now. That's what it is. And that's true. You just whip it out, and then you just fucking, like, doo -doo 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 and you just, like, let it go. Hey, U.S. Army soldier, thank you very much for that bitty bomb, dude. I appreciate that. Appreciate that very much, sir. Thank you. I'm just going to wait out this siege. I see no reason to really fuck around hella hard. Oh, Itza has another territory over here. Well, let's go look at that. Scary. Oh, 
Move chaos. Dude, we're about to get some serious territory from this. We've conquered a big chunk of the map. And frankly, these guys, I expected them because they're an evil army. Hey, Fun Punchy, thank you very much for the bitty bombs. That bitty bomb train, woot woot. I expected, like, most of the evil races tend to have logistical problems holding large areas of territory. But, like, the Skaven seem to do it perfectly fine as long as you can take the entire province. If you can't take the entire province, they struggle a little bit with public order. But by and large, I expected it to be way worse. I didn't expect them to be kind of a conquering army. I expected them to be somewhat less efficient at this. But they're actually pretty good at it. I have money now, which means I can upgrade things. I'm going to upgrade that because I get new technology when I get an armory. So I'm going to get a clan armory. And then... I'll probably upgrade this for growth. Sounds all right to me. How you guys doing over here? Are you guys solid? What's going on over here? Can I get gold mine three? Because I want gold mine three. I need the money. I need the money bad. Anything that generates revenue is essentially what I need right now. And if I can't get that thing, it's hard on me. You know it's hard out here for a pimp. All right, there we go. When you're trying to get the money for the rent, with the Cadillac's gas on its bed, there be a whole lot of bitches talking shit. You know it's hard out here for a pill. What's a ritual of prognostication? That doesn't sound good. No! Don't assassinate my agent! Oh, he succeeded too, you little fucker. No! Maybe he's just wounded. The great Fight vortex back. is under attack, my lord. The winds of magic shriek and eddy about it in strange formations, for a mighty ritual is underway in some distant land. The power of the ritual pulls and distorts the vortex, yet there remains a chance to intervene. Find the whereabouts of those that channel the ritual and attack before its completion, my lord. Control of the vortex must not fall into enemy hands. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, agents are super broken and... I mean, it, it's always... This has always been my fundamental problem with Total War. Agents are more valuable than any army. Like in Shogun Total War, if you had like a max level priest or like a max level ninja, you didn't have to fight the other factions. You could just assassinate and fucking convert your way through their territory and win. Like, um, agents have always been kind of a sore spot with me with Total War. So is he actually like dead? Usually it gives you a little pop up. You used to get like a little video or like a little pop up. I guess they got rid of that. Hostile hero activity. He slaughtered apeshit. You son of a bitch, how dare you? He killed my... He killed apeshit. Apeshit was my friend, man. Apeshit was the only one there when life turned on me. I need something with public order, but I need the altar of the horned rat before I can really do that. Because we about to have rebellions. Master Commander. Can I march your ass all the way over here? Because we need public order here over here like really bad. So let's just go garrison the uh Fight my, my garrison brothers. this thing real fast and see what happens. All cool. Plus alive. 14. Much better. That's not losing anything, so we'll just do it that way. Perfectly fine. I do wish, like, we need this event to go me. away. The world event should be over in, like, a turn or two, I think, but I don't know where I checked that. Kill Slay. Fight Nash. Kill for Clan. I want your city, and I want it bad. But, like, I don't want to fight for your city because I hate siege combat and total war. It's boring. I just, yeah, I like the open field combat, but siege combat, like the AI gets stuck in places, like on the walls and shit that just drive me crazy. And so I don't even fuck with it anymore. I siege, and I auto-resolve when it comes to sieges, because they just drive me crazy. I just, I don't like them. 
Tag, tag to attack. We kind of got to work on this warp stone thing. Unreasonable weather. One more turn, then we'll be all right. Then we'll be all right. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> what is that? The the world march upon the ritual site Dude. For there is still time to prevent its fulfillment. If you cannot intervene in time, however... There may be the opportunity to hire more local forces to strike on your behalf. Uh... I don't know what this mechanic is because I've never seen it before. Like, do they win in eight turns? Like, what happens when they do this? Because this seems kind of far away from me and irrelevant. Like, that seems really far away, so I don't know why I should care about that. Like, that's half a continent away. Like, who gives a fuck? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know what that means. And so, like, I'm like, eh. It's super far away. Like, if it was right here, I'd be like, maybe I'll do something about this. But, uh... I want guacamole crater. I want it bad. Guacamole crater sounds delicious. I love guacamole. It's the best. But, like, why should I have to spend my money? Like, why can't the AI spend their money to do it? There's lots of other factions. Like, why's it gotta be my money? You know what I mean? Like, why can't the dwarves do it? Yeah, butt plug. Uh, we still go out, like, dinner, and we go see movies and stuff like that. Like, sometimes you gotta get away from the internet, you know what I mean? Ooh, good, he's getting attrition losses. Good, fuck him. Hell yeah, take attrition losses, you bastard. Get some. You better fucking not. You better not, bitch. You better not. I know what you're trying to do right now. I gotta get me an agent. Hold on. I gotta get me an agent. Fight my, my brothers. What's your back tail? <sighs> this little fucker thinks I don't know what he's up to. I know what he's up to. But I can't get any agents, though. He's up to something, man. He's gonna go stab my hero and he's gonna kill him and it's gonna make me sad. He's definitely gonna come stab this guy. I almost guarantee it. That's not done yet. That could be level four and I get engineers. But like, I want my assassino. Assassino. You are correct, sir. I like money. I like money a lot. All right, Nekno. Actually, just like Nekno, uh, thank you very much for your thoughts, man. I appreciate that. Um, everybody giving me well wishes today. Uh, it was awesome. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, it really did help. But anyways, I will see you all tomorrow. If you've never been here before or you're new to the channel, um, I stream every single day at 3 p.m. Pacific time, and I just go till whenever. I haven't gone for a run in like five or six days now, so I'm going to go for a run and kind of detox, you know what I mean? I will see you all tomorrow afternoon. Thank you for stopping on in. This will be going up onto YouTube. It's been a blast, everybody. Thank you for supporting me, and I will see you all later, all right? I do.